Why? You're my favorite girl. Are you done? And that's and this is why. Beautiful. All right, we shouldn't have you start anything. To be honest with you. you Baby, baby, get off me, baby. There's something about you. Are you done? Why do you feel like Michael? I don't know. I don't know. That, <laughs> that's how like Pharrell Michael sounded. Jackson. That's how Pharrell sounded on that joint. Oh, yeah, there's something about you. There's something about you. You know, Pharrell oh, has yeah. a soft voice. Oh, yeah, there's something about you. Yeah, man. Man, don't do that, Pharrell. <laughs> Hell yeah, Pharrell. VA all day, every day. Two up, two down. All Let right, him know. Calm, calm down. Calm, calm down. <laughs> Let's get it. Calm down. Now you sound like me with the Bronx. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that's not the same. What were we watching last night? And we was watching fucking We Are Family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And hold on. Okay. <laughs> and this ain't what we watching. But we was watching We Are Family last night on Fox where the relatives from celebrities come out and they sing a song and they have clues behind them. You have to guess who their relative is. And we always guess who it is. We always get it. I don't know why. Yeah. But he's so we're in the bed. Just I'm we're in the bed. I'm high. I'm a little high, right? I'm sitting in the bed. He's halfway asleep. He's rolled over. Did you have your mask on by this time? Nah, they have my mask okay, on. Okay, he was about to put his mask on. They go, so where are you from? And the dude goes, from the Bronx, BX. He Ooh. turns around, hops up in the bed. I was ready. This I was goes, ready. This thing goes. All I day. Know, I know everybody from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. What? <laughs> and they started naming them off, and I guessed it first. You did well, you did guess, but it was an easy one. It no, was it wasn't one. that it wasn't that easy. Because I didn't think that he would have been on well, that show. Well, Diddy was the first clue, and that kind of threw me. And then the second clue, I was like, but you had said it as soon as you seen Diddy, and I was like, shit. And I caught it the yeah. second clue. I caught it the second clue. Because I looked at the dude and I was like, Yeah, yeah. For, well, and, and it should have hit me as soon as I looked at the dude. I should be like, oh yeah, Morocco. I just didn't think I I just didn't think that he would have been on that show. Right. I didn't know what kind right. of budget that show had. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> and it felt like you needed a big budget for I guess, that. I guess they had, I guess they had the the Bronx budget. They man. had a couple of people in there, and I was like, "Wow, that's money." Yeah, no, no, they did. They did. It's a great show. Yeah, it's a good show. It's, it's a good show. You didn't like it. At I, first. I didn't like it at first, but I do like guessing. I'm a guessing guy. That's why I liked it because I I didn't care how it was set up because I actually don't like the fact that they have to come and sing a song first because some of them can't sing and it makes no sense. I kind of like that part. Um, but. But they, they do a hell of a job on auto-tune, though. Yeah, I was like, some of this is stupid. I don't like it. And then I started watching it, and I was like, oh, no, it's like, I like quizzes. Yeah. <laughs> I it like was, quiz shows. It, it, yeah, no, it was dope. Speaking of quiz shows. We're such a game show fan. Got to shout out my homie, Jay Farrow. Oh, man. <laughs> quiz with balls coming to Fox. I think it's the quiz show with balls. The quiz show with, no, the quiz. The quiz show with balls or a quiz with balls. It's one or the other. But it's coming to Fox in May. I'm super excited for my homie, man. Got his show, man. Man, uh, I was weak, though. I'm not even going to lie to you because I was like, I can't believe Fox let a show with his name. Go yeah, they, like they wasn't that. thinking about how many jokes is going to happen. Because you, how can you host a show like that and not acknowledge that balls, balls is in the title? It's balls. How can you not say that? And you're a comic? Oh, my God. My oh, first yeah. thing would be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> balls <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> quiz show with testicles. I would have been saying everything. But congratulations to Jay, man. That's pretty yeah, cool. man. Hell That's yeah. pretty cool. Listen, so... If y'all watching on video, I still have not gotten my nail fixed, and I don't want y'all to mention it. Thanks. Go. Man, just keep your nails out the frame. No. Nope. Um, no, listen. So I wanted to do something today, but I didn't do it because this week has been wild crazy. But... I'm going to tell you what I wanted to do, and I want both of us to do it and bring it back to the pod, um, the next pod. Okay. Is this what you were talking about? Yes, on Patreon. Yes, yes. If you haven't subscribed to the Patreon, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. A lot of great content up there to keep you going through your week, whether it's working or just chilling or whatever. You know, make sure you are a Patreon member, yeah. patreon.com forward slash, and then we. Someone gave me an idea on live the other day. I'm going to let you get back to what you were saying, but just because we were talking about Patreon was to go on Patreon <laughs> drunk or not drunk, but like cooking and mm -hmm. just talking shit. Mm -hmm. he, they, they said cocktails or something like that. I was like, maybe a gummy, but I thought that might be a fun idea. Just go up there with just, just inebriated. Yeah, well, we, not, well, I don't want to be drunk. I would if I'm a little high, 
that might be fun. Well, this month we are doing a um a special Patreon uh meetup on Patreon with uh you know, we're going to be live out there with a couple of you guys that are in certain tiers. Um, and it's going to be fun. You get to talk to us one on one, access any as many questions as you want to. Just gonna kick the shit. You know what I mean? It's gonna be fun. So make sure you are a Patreon member, um, so you can get that happening. Um, but the question or what I wanted to do actually, no, that's no, fine. Um, what I wanted to do is, but let me ask this question first. You sure you don't want me to answer? I'm fine. They left. They rang the doorbell. I'll oh go check God. the door. Well, you go check that. And while you go check the door, I'm going to tell you guys what I want to do for her real quick. I want to do... Shit. I didn't tell him a time. Fuck. Bring him in. Bring him in. I'm going to do a love letter. Yes. I'm going to do a love letter. I'm going to do a love letter. Well, he didn't say anything. Yeah, my my phone. I, I'm I'm sure a lot of you guys have been dealing with um dealing with AT and T. That's why I didn't hit you up, Mike. AT and T. I have no phone service right now. Uh, there's like a a, a nationwide outage. With, my phone's uh, doing fine. Actually. Your phone is crazy. My phone's but doing okay. Yeah, it's a nationwide outage. So that's why I didn't hit you. If you text me, I didn't get it. I'm sorry, bro. But um, pull up a chair, have fun. We here for a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay. He cool. he yeah, did. yeah. Yeah, we just started. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> wow. Um, so yeah, so when's the last time you received a love letter? <gasps> what? When's the last time you received a love letter? Like a card from No, not kids? a card. Um, not a card. A handwritten letter with someone confessing their love or I've professing never, their love. I don't think I've ever gotten one. You've never received a love letter? No. They don't like me like that. I'm not talking about like a, even in high school? No. I didn't date anyone in high school until I, well, no, I did, but he didn't go to that school and he wasn't that type of guy. What kind of thug <laughs> were you dealing with? I told you, we've had discussions. <laughs> this was a drug dealer. First of all, what did I, what? You didn't say his name, Are so it's fine to call him a drug what? dealer if he was a drug dealer. Nigga, he was, no. He, Street no, pharmaceutical. No, he wasn't. Rep. No, he was just, he, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> My bad. What was he, a killer? I don't know. Don't no, push him? No, baby. I, it was a guy that would not have done things like that. Why wouldn't he have done things like that? I don't know. At the time, I mean, we young. He was, you know, trying to be hard. He was older than me. He was like your age. You know, old as fuck. So, fuck like, you. he was, you know, three years. When I'm in high school, it's different. Because, you, what, you like 21, mm -hmm. 20, 21, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you was, how old were you in high school when you were dealing with him? How old was I in high school? When you were dealing with him. Uh, I started talking to him when he was 18. How old was it you? How wait, old were wait, you? Wait, wait, was he 18? No, that was my first boyfriend. I started talking to him when I was like 17. How old were you? You were 17, was 17. he was 21? No. What was the math? 20. You said he you was 20. He was 20. Right? 19, mm, 20. Mm, mm. It was like 19, 20 when I started talking to him. Okay. But every, shut up. Um, it's not no crazy gap. You know, it's girls going to high school and had niggas dropping them off in cars that was going to college. I mean, technically, it was like sophomores technically in at 20, you could drop a woman off at okay, high school but and drive it wasn't a big and go age to difference. Regardless, he just wasn't that type of guy. Like, all his friends were older. Like, they all were whatever. Like So he never wrote you a he love He just letter. wasn't romantic. He tried to act like he wasn't romantic. Okay, I got you. He didn't do that until we broke up. Then it was like, oh my god! Yeah, he tried to get you back with the romance, and that's that's enough. I get it. Like, I mean, that's what you do, honestly. I've like, never got when you letter. are when you are in a relationship, you don't show the romance. Then you show the romance when you lose the person, and then you're trying to get them back because you got to save stuff for the get back. Like, I know I'm a piece of shit, so when it's time for me to put out the romance, that's because I fucked up. Wait, so well, I'm, you so you've written love letters? Mad love letters all through high school. Mad love letters. Mad love so letters. many. Actually, I dated a girl. Um, dated a girl. I don't even remember who it was, but she made me throw out all of the love letters. <gasps> no. That I like received and all of that. Like I kept them. Not wait, as, you got love letters too? Yeah. And I kept and I kept them. Um, and it wasn't like a thing of where I was keeping them because I was still in love with the people, but I thought it was like cool mementos to have like from high school. Like, oh my gosh, remember this time? I, I 
wouldn't be mad at a high school love letter. Yeah, Unless you're just always going in your room reading it. No, no, no. I had never <laughs> I, I remember it was in a um a a a, a lugs a lugs box. Remember lugs? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the, lugs. the boot. Yeah, yeah. I, I I had a it was in a lugs box. You look like you had lugs. <laughs> you look like a nigga that would wear lugs right now if they drop something new. Oh man, but no, I was thinking about love letters and I was like, I've never written my wife a love letter. No, I'm actually upset that you've written so many. But I was in high school back then, like, but but now that it's on my mind, I'm going to write you a love letter. And I would think it would be cool if you wrote me a love letter as well. Oh, so this is the thing. I think that we should have guidelines for how long it should be or um you know, because I don't want to do like a long one and you send me a short one or a short one and then you. Well, that's the fun out. part. Let's see who loves the person more. Nigga, I can write books. You hear me? <laughs> I was one of those kids when it was like, yo, write an essay uh -huh. and you couldn't stop writing. Oh, yeah. I, I was, was like never one of that those. person. I was, that I was always the person saying, how am I going to fit? To a page. No, when they was like, <laughs> can we double space? Nope, nope. <laughs> I was like, how? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I was writing small. Wow. Yeah. Nah. Wasn't well, even double space in between my paragraphs. I was like, I gotta fit all my details in here. So many adjectives. <laughs> I packed in that shit. I was good. I was good as hell at writing. I can well, write. I want to do that. I want to do love letters. Okay. Next, next, next pod will definitely bring out the love letters and see how they are. Oh fuck. That'll be fun. You know why it's not fun? Because why? I don't know how much I want to say on here. Like, I don't know what I want. You want us to read them on the pod? Or on Patreon. <sighs> okay. It's up to you. Okay. It's up to you. But I want to do love letters. Damn, I ain't never written a love letter, though. I don't really know how they start. Do you say dear? Um, dear Gerard. So I used to do dear. I used to do dear, definitely. Um, so informal. Um, Dear my love. Dear Ooh. Kristen. Uh, dearest love, um, dearest love, yeah. dearest love, and then and then when you break up, you get the dear John, <gasps> which I've received as well. And but it was did so they crazy. Say John at the time, yo. They so say dear John. I remember her name was Mia. Fuck her. Um, who was John though? Who was this nigga that was fucking everyone's life that we was like, you know what? All the breakup letters are after this. And dude. that was my first thing. I read dear John. I'm like. Oh, this bitch is writing letters to a John? <laughs> Who the fuck is John? And I'm pissed <laughs> off. And then she breaking up with John. And I'm like, oh, well, Yo. maybe John she was dealing with back in the day. But, you know, and then as I kept reading, she put my name in. And I was like, well, why would she mention me? In the, and then by the time I finished the Dear John, yeah. I realized what the Dear John letter was. Who is John? Like, John was the pioneer of ain't shit niggas. Like, who is John? <laughs> who is this nigga John? Like, who? what did he do? What's the story? behind us saying yo all the letters are dear john letters. I, I don't know but john like you said i'm gonna be mad if it came from like a movie or something i'm just not up to par but there like, is a movie called dear john but it came way it didn't after come from that and then tamia yeah. got a song called dear john does she is yeah. it yeah hope that you could be reading dear john by the time you read this letter i'll be feeling much better so long than it, i'm gone you never heard that song never it's on the same i've album. never listened to a full it's on the orange one never listened to a full tamia album it's on the Orange album. Never listened to a full Tamiya well, album. I forgot album, what album that had on it. Never listened to one. But Tamiya is one of my favorite singers. Did that have so. Stranger in My House on it? That might have been the same album. Really? Maybe. Never listened to it. Maybe it's not. I don't know. All I knew was Tamiya was amazing in green or brown, whatever color that was. Olive. I think that's Stranger in My House. Stranger in My House. She looked incredible. Pop queen. All right, she looked. I was like, that was like the sexiest video I had ever seen to that day. Yeah, yeah. Between that, that's. I think that's probably one of the sexiest videos. Yeah, man. And the water. Oh, well, you don't have. Okay, that. Um, D'Angelo. I'm sorry, Grant. D'Angelo. Um, uh, the Sierra video too was sexy. Which one? What the, the when night. she was on the wall. What? What? I don't think it goes like that. You okay? Yeah, man, you I'm need good. a moment alone with that mic. <laughs> <laughs> Not that mic, but this mic. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out to Mike in the building. <laughs> yeah, I mean. 
Oh my god! Uh, and involuntarily joining the podcast for today. This is hilarious. <laughs> um, Thanks to HelloFresh for supporting our show. Go to HelloFresh.com slash ATWHS free and use code ATWHS for H as free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. Definitely. Uh, you want to start the show? Oh, yeah, we didn't do that. Mm-mm. Okay, cool. It's J-Rod. Chris and Seville. And then we had sex, the podcast. No, it's not. Okay, well, and then we, the podcast. Y- you are never going to get out of this. I'm never, man. I'm sorry, It's man. the fucking algorithm. You're Fuck right. The algorithm it, for it this. It sucks. But it's doing this to us. And then we, the podcast, the fastest growing podcast in Sacramento. And she's drinking while she's supposed to be doing it. <laughs> Yo, that was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst. Whew, okay, I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm I'm thirsty, but also I need some energy. I'm trying to pep up, you know. I'm so mad you messed up your br- 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 because uh, I think next week, next week, put it on the board. We're going to be releasing a limited edition shirt, and I think your horns will be the first. That sounds stupid. I think your horns <laughs> is going to be the first shirt <laughs> that we're releasing. You know what I mean? A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people, have been asking us for merch. Um, when can we, you know, get some merch to support you guys? You know, I want to show people that I'm rocking with the podcast. It's down the third. We hear it all the time. And we had merch and we sold out of merch, but I found some more merch and we're going to create. <laughs> That's a wild <laughs> so I'm gonna thing to say. A, I'm going to put that on the website and then <laughs> we have sex.com. Um, but also I'm going uh, to do some new merch. As a matter of fact, I am just want to flood y'all with merch for the next couple of weeks, man. And the first one is going to be your air horn merch. And it was so crazy because we were trying to figure out how to spell burn. Yeah. Burn. I think it's burn. 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 I mean, we, we found the spelling. That that worked for me, um, but burr, it was a hard ass word mm-hmm. to spell. I would you spell it like? I don't remember. I think B E W N. But that's not, there's no R in there, baby. You have to I put didn't put R. it. But the, so we tried to put the R in there, but the R looked too proper. What? Burr, burr. You, there's an R though. It's a lot of R. It's mostly R, to be honest with you. Burr. So okay, so you spell it. B U. So you put a U in it. B U H R. I gotta let them know. Cause what the fuck? Are I gotta you let them know. It's, it's it's heavy on the R. He- it's heavy on R the R. Heavy. It's let, very R heavy. I, I'm gonna let them know right now. That's crazy that B-U-H-R. you thought there was no R in there. R R. You know ne- you didn't think there was an R in it. It's a horn. Horn. Cause spelling. I was about to say you definitely just sent him the spelling of it. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> you just sent me burnt. <laughs> so yeah, so that merch will be coming out uh, probably next week. So um, be on the lookout for that. Um, and you did this again, but I'm gonna do it again because I like HelloFresh. So thanks to HelloFresh for supporting our show. Go to HelloFresh.com slash ATWHS free and use code ATWHS free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. And I want to know, how was your week? It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks, actually. Yeah. I don't really know what happened, to be honest. Can you uh, um, refresh me? The only thing I remember is last week we went to uh, Memphis and we talked about Memphis extensively heavy. on Patreon. Memphis so, heavy. So um, if you want to go to Patreon and hear what we have to say about his Memphis heavy. Memphis, you definitely want to go there so you know what's up. Yeah. Um, um, but y'all were y'all were cool. I liked y'all. Yeah. Um, but Given we, the circumstances. We know that y'all were pissed. Um mm-hmm. And we understand, and I'm it just, wasn't our fault. I'm just gonna say it wasn't our fault. It was not our fault. But uh, we talked about it extensively on Patreon. Yes. But, um, yeah. So it was a lot of driving. A lot of driving. <laughs> I messed up my foot driving. Yeah. But it's your week. So. Yeah. No. So it was a lot of driving. Um, we drove to Memphis. Um, it was 14 hours, and in the last 20 minutes, we ended up in traffic for two hours. <laughs> we it was like two in the morning yes two something in the morning um and we hit traffic and there was tractor trailers and everything trucks and we got 
stop for two hours. Yeah. Um, I was high the entire time. Had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> do recommend. We'll do it again. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of driving. Got there. Um, hotel was cool. Um, the dude that had security had like LED lights and shit in his car. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it, it was wild. Memphis, y'all wild. Um, so yeah, there was that. And then there was the, you know, the show. And the show was, you know, we did as best as we could um, with the circumstances. Um, it wasn't our fault. And but, you know, shout out to everybody that came out. Um, we hope that you we did, you still had a decent Valentine's Day. Um, it, it, and that's the nicest I can get on regular episode. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, and then this week, what? We didn't do nothing. It's just been... Um, figuring things out. Um, Super Bowl happened. We watched Super Bowl. Um, right? Watch Super Bowl. Yeah. 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 So watch the Super Bowl. It was just in the house. Like we really didn't do much of anything this week. I watch All Star Weekend. All Star Weekend. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I can't think of anything we really did this week. I don't remember going anywhere. I don't remember doing anything. Okay, well, I'll say my week, and then she's going to say, oh, my God, so I forgot about that. Oh, fuck. Um, okay. So, like she said, we went to Memphis. Memphis was a shit show. Um, Wait, <clears throat> but not because of the people there. Not because of the people. You you guys weren't the shit show. It was everything else surrounding it, and you can use the context clues or go to Patreon. Um, <laughs> but other than that, uh on the way to Memphis, I drove the entire way. I have anxiety, so it's hard for me to let other people drive. Um, so I drove the entire way straight there to Memphis, 14 hours, like she said. And by the time we stopped. Oh, it was by, Valentine's Day. That too. All right. By the time we stopped in uh by the time we stopped in in Nashville, my foot was throbbing. The way I drive is I kind of rest my heel, excuse me, I rest my heel on the floor. And because I was resting it for so long, at you know, it it just was throbbing. I'm still in a little pain, um, but because I have feet issues anyway, it just kind of exasperated anything that was already going on with my foot. So it was terrible, terrible. And I drove the whole way back in pain, and um, it was it was a rough. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I dealt with the foot pain, but the next day we had to get back home. Uh, well, let me let me rewind a little bit. Valentine's Day. Now, if you guys are new to the show or you just caught the last couple of episodes, you probably remember us talking about Valentine's Day or you at least remember us talking about um, lingerie. Oh, yeah. And Kristen asking me to uh, get her lingerie and not to touch her. <clears throat> Which sounds asinine <laughs> to me as well. Um, but Damn. I did that. I got her a nice uh, whole set, you know, bra, panties, uh, stockings, the uh, little garter belt, all of that. Um, and I did not touch her for as long as possible, which was about 30 something minutes. Um, so I passed. I'm very proud of you. Very proud. I'm not proud of you, though, because um, <laughs> when it was time to, you know, Mr. Sexy time. Um, Don't ever do that again with your hands when what, you say that. Not, it was Mr. Sexy time. Don't do that. Oh, um, when it was time to actually get it in. You're like a nutcracker when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, when it was time to get it in, um, I did what I was supposed to do. I pulled it out and I put it in. And about three minutes in, she's like, mm. Mm. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm hitting that spot. And she's she like, uh, uh, I, I, I can't. And I'm like, what's the matter? You want to tell them what the matter was? I don't know. I don't I don't remember. I feel nauseous. Oh, I did feel nauseous. I did. I did feel nauseous. That was true. I, I can't do this right now. It's Valentine's Day. I can't do this right now. I was high, too. But I was nauseous. You know why I was nauseous? Because you was drinking terrible liquor. I was drinking... Bottom, bottom shelf. Because here's the thing. We went into that day saying we weren't going to drink. Like True. We were, we were chilling. We weren't going to do nothing. We were okay. And the stress of the prep for the show had mm -hmm. us so stressed out that I just got to the point. I was like, I need a drink. I need a drink. 
And I ordered that drink so many times and yeah. didn't even get it until the end of the night, like yeah. towards the end of the night. And she even brought some home uh, or b- brought some back to the room. And it was. And she drank it. I, I just drank whatever they gave me. Terrible liquor. And. Like, you know, the taste of terrible liquor. As soon as I tasted it, I like. I put ca- cranberry juice in mine because I didn't. I didn't. I still tasted it through the cranberry juice. I taste. I taste the poverty through. You know what? The cranberry juice. What are you talking about? It was terrible fucking liquor. Bottom of the bottom. Yeah, it was. It was terrible. I just took whatever the fuck they gave me, man. Hell yeah. And as I'm in it, my tummy hurt. I'm I'm nauseous. I was nauseous as fuck. It was bad. And rolled over, and me and Pamela had a great Valentine's Day. Oh, she had a name? That's so cute. Found the good porn, you know what I mean? Good scene real quick. I was like, ooh, this seems kind of sexy for Valentine's Day. And went to town. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm not. But you had a date. (laughs) <laughs> at least you had somebody to spend your time with fuck you um so yeah so uh that happened uh came back home like i said foot in pain is all good but we had to make it back home because our daughter had oh. our daughter had her play and we could not miss that i do forget a lot of things huh? yeah um <laughs> and it's so crazy because her schedule is starting to get like kind of crazy with the acting and everything in her school um, so we're always just trying to play, you know, catch up, but we always make her performances. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you, I left that place saying, I have to move my family to LA now. Like there's, there's no choice. I either have to move my family to LA or I got to ship her ass off to LA or New York. But at the end of the day, we have to get her in a better place because she's going to retire me. I mean, you too, but she's going to retire me. I thought it was so sweet. That girl. <laughs> dude, like that girl. <laughs> Hold is on. I just want y'all to know before he says this, they walk around and act like they can't stand each other. And it's not like <laughs> not like being like mean, but they joke each other all day or she'll try to give him a hug and he'll be like, get off me. And it'll be shit like that <laughs> all day. And he always has jokes all the time. We after the play was over with, he said nothing the entire play. <laughs> And I was like, are you okay? And go ahead. Go ahead. No, so, well, two things. As a parent, you always want your child to be good at the things that they love. Mm-hmm. That's what you want. Mm-hmm. Um, and when your child does excel in these things, you always say, you know, that's good. I'm glad they found something that they enjoy. And that's usually where it ends. It's rare <clears throat> that you find a special talent in the things that they love. It's rare. I'm just saying that. Not everybody goes to the NBA. Not everyone becomes an actor. Not everyone becomes a singer. Not everyone does the things that they love doing extracurricularly. Um, but when I watched the play and I seen her burst onto that stage, I was so proud. And not proud because I did anything to warrant her being as good as she was, but proud that I could call her my own. She was fucking amazing and not amazing as a child actor, Mm -hmm. not amazing as my child. She was amazing because she was just that good. And it startled me, not surprised me, Mm -hmm. but it startled me because I was not expecting her to be that good. Mm -hmm. Um, Not because, you know, I thought less of her or anything like that, but you just don't you just don't experience that often when anyone child or whatever Mm. is really good at what they do. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm really good at spotting talent. I think that's one of my talents is knowing when I see talent and I saw it and I was like, oh, my gosh, like she really has a future. This it, it, it had me rethinking even the things that she's told us that we've been against it's even had me rethinking that because I'm just like, well, fuck. I don't want her to waste any time. I want her to chase this dream now. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, it 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 was it was the best part of my last two weeks just watching her. And I would never tell her this, <laughs> but watching, <laughs> <laughs> but watching her was definitely the highlight maybe of my year. Oh my god! And that's gosh. real. Ooh, that's real. That is. I would applaud. That's crazy. No, it's, it's real. Because you don't say anything. And I I knew that you felt a way because we're, me and um uh one of my best friends who is one of her godmothers, mm-hmm. we're laughing. Like, we're laughing during certain parts. 
Mm -hmm. um, and like joking little things, but you could not pull away from watching the play. I couldn't with her in it. And it like when you said like it's, it wasn't just good for a kid or whatever. First of all, this play was called Immediate Family, mm -hmm. and it's about it's about like thirty something year old people that are um, it's like a, a family dynamic, but like one of them is gay and he doesn't want to tell his older sister. And there's it's it's like it, it deals with Christianity, it deals with racism, it deals with all the stuff, mm -hmm. um, and. She was like, she was amazing to the point that she came out and people were like screaming at yeah, the end. Yeah. Um, she came out, everyone was laughing. It was comedy. Her comedic timing is incredible. Yeah. But everyone was coming up to me like, Kaden was the best part of this play. Yeah. She wasn't even the ex ex like super main character. Yeah. She was just a She was the comic part. relief. Yeah. She was the comic relief of the whole play. And she was um, phenomenal. I, I left there forgetting that. Like she's getting older. Like mm -hmm. she's in the house with us, and it's like, oh, this is our child. It's da da da. But like seeing her with all these teachers talking about her, all the students being excited to see her, giving her hugs, they're just so impressed by her. And I'm like, wow, she is really her own person here. There was this one part where uh, after the play ends, like immediately after it ended, um, one of her teachers turned around and said, "Who are you here for?" And we told the Caden. Uh, we told him Caden. And he just goes on and on. And we're like, no, but everybody was really good. You know, trying to be modest yeah. and, you know, humble. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, no, 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 but Caden. And <laughs> every time we tried to tell him, no, but the whole play, no, but Caden. Yeah. Like, it everybody was, was good. Yeah. They were all really good. They were really, really good. amazing. Like, the really whole good. cast was amazing. I don't yeah. want to take anything from them. But like I said, I seen something special in her. And yeah. Yeah. So that was the highlight of... My my year, honestly, like Damn. just just Ooh, being. Ooh, and the year just honest. starting. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, so so I have much time to find other highlights. Also, I haven't had a threesome this year, so I cannot wait to just <laughs> find the timestamp on this clip and just play it. For You're her. not going to do that. <laughs> Why? You are not going to do that. Do not do that. You don't want her to have a good time. No, not at all. All right. Um. Yeah, but yeah, I liked Valentine's Day. I like what you got me. I'm surprised you didn't give me color, though. It was black. It was black lingerie. Well, I tried to get you color. Originally, I was going to get you a teal. Mm -hmm. But um, so I'm a Savage Fenty member. I like and it. I get, <laughs> <laughs> and I get member I get member points um, every month. Because at one point, he was just buying me nothing but lingerie. And I was like, I need regular draws, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I need cotton. That was her <laughs> words. I need cotton. I need some cotton. Yeah. <laughs> you can't wear too much of that. You got to air it out. <laughs> Y'all don't know that. But no, um, I'm a member. Mm -hmm. And as a member, I get member points. And I found this really nice uh, lingerie uh I think it was like teal or something like that. But it wasn't able to be bought with member points. And I was like, oh. Guess you gotta get something with member points. Why don't you just think about stuff that look good on me though? What about like a because like an emerald green or a red? That's what I, I, it. It would have looked amazing on you. However, black looks amazing on everyone. And it I was say it's slimming. No, nah, I'm trying to say it was free. Oh, cool, 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 cool. It was free because of the points. Because of the points. <laughs> you was like, oh, this one is this equally is. You trying yeah. to convince yourself this is also gorgeous. Yeah, I hell love yeah. This. You know, I had, to, I had to believe in myself. <laughs> I, lo I love this and believe in you. <laughs> and you looked fantastic. You was oh in my that god, free garment, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, look at what I bought. It almost. look it look even better when it's free though. Oh like, my oh, it's, god. Woo. I but ain't never you, had that. You like were. That You've been talking about losing weight, and I I remember what you looked like when I first met you. I was so just talking I, about toning. So I understand. Okay. Well, I understand why you want to lose weight. But seeing you in that, I was like, I don't want you to lose a fucking inch. Like, you were, oh, my God. I was just talking about toning. All right. Well, just tone then. Fuck it. Okay. My God. You, whoo. Right. And then... And my tummy hurt. I'm nauseous. Yeah, oh was, my god, I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, Bitch, was, throw up with my dick. That's so nasty. Stop saying things like that. Oh my bad. I'm never doing that. I'm never doing that. Unless you just want me to do it, but I can walk away afterwards. Because <laughs> then you gonna smell the acid. What if the acid get in your little pee pee hole? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yo, I watched this TikTok video today, and it was fake. But the girl said she got thrush on her tongue 
from baking cinnamon rolls for her and her husband for Valentine's Day with her own yeast infection. I thought that was crazy. Oh. <laughs> I, I immediately went to the comments because I was like, is she trolling us? She said her and her husband got thrush on their tongues and she thought it was so sentimental to, <laughs> to oh, me. God. She was a great actress, though, because it was... I just, yeah. Well, speaking of TikTok, our question of the day is inspired by TikTok. Okay. Um, do you want to talk about why it's inspired first? Or you want to do the question of the day? Why is it inspired? Oh, okay. We could talk about. We could just do the question of the day. First. Okay. Uh, question of the day: Biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? Hold on. Let me just say this, and nobody's gonna care. But right now, currently, AT and T is going through an outage. And our notes, our responses are like a screenshot of the notes app in the phone. And I just keep seeing this SOS on the top of your notes app because <laughs> your phone ain't working. And mine is doing great. Um, what is... The biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? I don't lie. So You've never lied in your relationship yeah, ever. I don't have to. You're a fucking liar. I don't have to lie. Why? You've lied to me before. About what? what I don't lie? know, but I know you be lying. No, I don't I don't lie. That's a lie. I don't lie you've regularly. Li so you've never lied to me before. I haven't not a big lie. It might have been something small. Like you'd have been like, what what did you buy? And I was like, man, only this. And it wasn't only that, it was something else too. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't no, I haven't no. Mm-mm. I don't think I've told a big lie in a relationship. I've been lied to big. <laughs> I've had big lies told to me, but no. Never lied. Never had a big lie. No, I not really. Oh, I told somebody my credit was good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I always keep up with my credit. <laughs> my credit crazy. <laughs> Did they ever find out that that was a lie? Uh, don't make me get a house on you. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's uh, that? Good credit. Hey, hey, what? Um, did they ever find out? Nah, yeah. we broke up too early for them to see me get a car or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I had already had Why a car. Why you dropping that around? <laughs> you know what? They couldn't even tell it was an 800. Yeah, they, they didn't know. They didn't know. Matter of fact, it, yeah, they <laughs> the ink was low. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was just mad zeros. <laughs> they didn't, they, they didn't, didn't know. They, they, didn't, they know. didn't know. You know. I'm going to go back, though. I'm going to go back. <laughs> I'm going to go back later. <laughs> this is fine for me right now. I'm okay driving in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the biggest lie I ever told in a relationship? Um <laughs> I love you. No. I know you've said it. But I've always meant it. But you said <laughs> You said you was fucking people and telling them you love them. No, no, no. <laughs> I love this. Okay. I would never say I love you while having sex. Okay. But I would say I love this a lot. Mm-hmm. Now, if they heard I love you. This you know. sounds sexier, actually. I love this. Sounds yeah, sexy. That was that was my shit. I was like, I will never tell her I love her, but this pussy is amazing. So I love this. You went into sex thinking that? Yes. Like if I knew the sex was good, like You never slipped up? No, never. <laughs> I I'm just playing. <laughs> Yo, what do you do if somebody <laughs> says that? Like, I love you. <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> give me that pussy. Psych your mind. Give me that. Give me. <laughs> Just give me that pussy. What you say? Nah. Just. Mm. <laughs> Start fucking her harder. What you say? I was just, <laughs> nothing. I didn't. Say, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> no. Let me think. Um, the biggest I ever told someone in a relationship. I mean, I've told so many. Um, and that is crazy. That's why it was hard to believe that I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Because I've I've told a myriad of of, of myriad. Myriad. Yeah, myriad. You said a myriad. I said myriad. That, that's the hotel. You're right. Um, no, I. It's so many. Um, Baby, that is bad. What? What's your top three? What's your What's your top three? <laughs> Slam dunk. Um, I always lied about where I was going. I oh. was never going there, and that's mm. before like you could like uh, GPS on the phone. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was before that. So I will always lie about where I was going. 
Um, because I was always going to fuck. Um, Damn. I would always. You were never going to work. No. And, and even if I was going to work, I was you, going to fuck. I just don't understand how you afforded all this wholeness that you had going on. Listen, the best hoes are the broke ones. Oh, I know that. We talked yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. Best ones are the broke ones. Yeah. Um, what's another three? Uh, I'm not cheating. Well, that yeah, I you think know. that's a that's probably a a one A. Yeah, yeah, I'm not cheating. Um, and I think the last big lie would be, you know, I'm gonna marry you one day. You told a lot of people you're gonna marry them. You know, I'm gonna marry you one day. I would be pissed because I've never heard anybody say that. What you mean? Like, you know, I'm going to marry you one day. You know, I'm going to marry you one day. You said that to people? Many. But it wasn't my fault. They would like talk about, you know, us being together forever and marrying. I'm like, I guess it's the conversation piece. So I, I should enjoy because you don't never want to let somebody down that think they're going to be with you forever. Why don't you just not be with them? Why, why you just leave? Because the sex was great. And the conversation was decent. That's all right. That's all right. No, I'm just saying, like, it. it is you. You tried to talk to somebody that tells you, I can't wait till you meet my mom because she's going to love you. And, you know, one day when we when we get married, da, 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 you know, and you, you try to talk to a person like that. And how not, long were you with them when they would say things like that? Which one? Anybody. Oh, like years. Years. Yeah. After some years, I'm gonna think we're gonna get married. Yeah, but we're not together though. It's not like you're my girlfriend. We're just dealing with each other for years. Did I meet her? Probably. You've never met any of those women. Mm. Never met any of those women. Good, good to know. Yeah. Um biggest lie you've ever told. Wait, wait, wait. Take that back. You met one. Is it the one that I would think I would? I'm have thinking met? you. You probably yeah. It's probably the same one. Yeah, makeup. That's not fair. Makeup. That's not fair that yeah. you ruin that girl's right. life. I didn't ruin her life. You had me talking. I to check that on girl. her once every six months. You do for real? Yeah, I go on Facebook and just make sure her life is going, you know, as well as it was going to go. And she alive? Why do you? What? What if it wasn't? Would you go save her? What would happen? I don't know. Oh, you don't know if you would go save her or you don't know why you check on her? Shouldn't I save her? Not with my money, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you better go save somebody else. <laughs> Not with my money. You better go and figure out what the fuck you're going to do with that. <laughs> why does saving have to be, like, financially? What What else you going to do for her? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't never check on mine you know you don't check on nobody well what if we don't have social media so <laughs> that's me <laughs> you don't you don't never check on anybody that you've dated I before i have randomly checked on my first boyfriend that i had mm -hmm. um i've googled because he joined the military and let go of all his social media and i haven't heard anything about him since then okay so i literally don't know like when we broke up a couple of years later he used to work at he used to work at an ihop right mm -hmm. so we went to that IHOP one day and he hadn't worked there in years. And he just happened to be there with like his family. Oh, damn. Like he had a wife and a kid at this point. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time I had ever seen him since, which had been like some years. Mm -hmm. But I've seen no trace of him. Like at wow. all. He's one of those people I'm just like, I hope he's doing well. But the fact that I haven't seen anything, I'm just kind of like, oh, oh man, I hope he's all right. Damn. Yeah, but he was in the military. Um, and as soon as he joined, like, he let go of everything. And he had, like, a sneaker Instagram and, like, some other shit. And he didn't have, he doesn't have anything now. Okay. So stuff like that, because of how technology is such a big, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff scares me just because I'm like, I hope he all right. Like, yeah, no, I get it. Because he was a good dude. He was a very nice guy. But, um, but no, not. Mm -mm. I get that. I check on one, two, two. Two people. Well, two and a half. But I don't really check on that person. Her her uh she pops up in my feed every now and again. Mm. Um, but like two people for sure. Mm -mm. Yeah. Somebody popped three. up. Somebody three popped people. up on that's a lot of people to be checking that's on. That's not three, it's not a lot. Why why so what is what's the reasoning? <laughs> it's fine. It's <laughs> 
It's the people that I treated the worst in relationships. Wow. That is some shit. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. The people I treated the worst in relationships are the ones that I check on. Just to make sure that they're doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel bad. You should feel bad. Yeah. You're kind of a piece of shit sometimes. Was. Yeah. Past, past tense. Well, okay. You know, tomato, tomato. But I don't really check on anybody. No, I don't. I get that. I just don't. Someone popped up on my feed the other day because he commented on someone's page that I, uh, I don't know whose page it was that I know. And he commented. And I was like, oh, okay. You alive? Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> But not he don't really post nothing, which is interesting. You know him, but he don't post anything. For real. Oh yeah, he doesn't. He which is weird yeah, because he, he used to all the time. Yeah, he really did. Um, so it's those kind of people that I'm like, I just hope they okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Um, but yeah, let's go to you, man. Biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? Uh, let's go through your responses. Um, you not working is okay with me. Mm. That's one. Wow. That's one because That's one. I was always the one that was like, nah, follow your dreams. But sometimes you know you see someone following it, but they don't know where they're going. <laughs> like, it's some people, it's like they want to, because I'm, since I was following my dreams, I wanted to encourage everybody else to follow their dreams. Mm -hmm. But then it got to the point that I was like, all right, well, nothing's moving. And right. I don't, I don't, where, where are we going? What's right. happening? Or you ever like, did that with somebody that wasn't really that good at whatever they, their dreams were? Never. Never told someone to follow their dreams that dreams was trash. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't do that. Never no, mind. You I forgot who I was talking you to. You fucking know that. <laughs> Never. Uh, big... <laughs> Yo, you're such an asshole. No, I just listen. I don't want anyone ever to be out there saying I can make it. I can make it. Knowing damn well they'll never make it. But how do you tell someone that? You're not going to make it. But if you're in a relationship with them, how do you tell them? You're not going to make it. You right? It's you. I forgot. How would you tell some? Never mind. You don't know how to give advice. Never what? mind. No, <laughs> no. Listen. If you know someone out PSA. Okay. If you know someone out there that is trying to chase their dreams mm -hmm. and you know in your heart that they will never obtain these dreams this is what you're supposed to say to them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What stop I, I well what i would do what i would do is look at their life overall mm -hmm. right and find what else are you really good at and then i would just create more opportunities for you to do this thing and realize that you're great at it okay but first, you have to stop doing other thing. No, you can still dabble in that thing. But if you're overwhelmed by doing this thing, then maybe you'll be like, "Oh, don't this dabble," is really because my if, as long as you're dabbling, you still think there's a chance. Stop. Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. Well, that's that's a PSA good. over. That's another way. <laughs> um, what is the biggest lie you've ever told in a relationship? I have a baby on the way from another woman. Why the fuck would you say that? So that the other girl okay, can Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, biggest lie you ever told in a relationship. <laughs> uh, no, I, the barber didn't push your hairline back. Oh, I've done that. Damn, to me? No, baby. Yeah, you did. You fucking lied. No, 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 no. No, because when the barber did push your hair back, I said, it should be up here. And he was like, no, I like it like that. You're right. You're right. So you, that's weird. I've never met a nigga that wants his hairline pushed No, back. no, because she was so cool and it was just like. She was fucking your hair up. She was. She thought she was killing it too. And every day you came back, it was a little, like about a centimeter back. Listen, when I went back, when I went to Tank for the first time, he was like, damn, who been cutting your hair, bruh? <sighs> she was mad at you too. She, she wasn't mad at she me. She was mad at you. You think? Yeah. Maybe. Um, and then she used to come late. Like, how you gonna fuck up my hair and you don't even make the appointment time to fuck up my hair? You not even you not even good enough to fuck my you hair. You know what up. I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. Um, biggest lie you ever told in a relationship. Um yes, babe, I came too. Hmm. Okay. I've told that. Okay, there there we go. I what? told that. What? I have said that. You you came too? Yeah. You yeah. said that to me? What's the biggest lie you've ever told in a relationship? Um, I'll be there in a couple minutes. Was across the world on another continent. What? On another continent? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Nah, that's wild. That's wild. 
biggest lie ever told in a relationship that the sex was good it indeed was not okay. yeah yeah we've all that. done that yeah, yeah. um <laughs> biggest lie you ever told in a relationship you ain't ready for this dick 30 seconds later she was pissed <gasps> yo <laughs> I think that might have been the biggest lie that was told to me <laughs> memories no nah, that's just that's really funny oh <laughs> um, a couple of well, uh, no, nah. Uh, what was you gonna say? Nothing. Whatever that was, that's what I want to hear. We'll talk about that later. Um, no, that was probably the biggest lie that was ever told to me, though. My f- technically not my first, but my first sexual experience. Um, I would come in like two to three minutes. Mm-hmm. You've talked about that, yeah, and she would tell me all the time how. It was good, and how girls don't really like having sex for a long time. That's just a, you know, a lie, um, and you know that she was coming. And then I remember after learning how to have sex, mm-hmm. we came. I came back and I fucked the shit out of her, and she was like, "Oh my god, this, that, and the third. And I was like, "I thought you said that you don't like having sex for a long time." I thought you said you was coming this, that, and third. You know, I brought all that stuff up. That's not nice. Fuck that. And she was like... You worried about the past. <laughs> she was like, I was just telling you that because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Ooh. That hurt my feelings. Your feelings began to hurt a lot. A lot. Yeah. that's They, they should not treat you like that. Fuck that. Um, oh, no, no. I wonder... Oh, it's fine. I remember it. Uh, biggest lie you ever told in a relationship. I'm single and this my sister kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You ever pawned off your child to somebody else? Nah, she looked too much like me. <laughs> Kayla looked too much like me. I could never say that. Um, uh, biggest lie you ever told in a relationship, I like your mom. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Um, biggest lie you ever told in a relationship. I'm willing to forgive you. That's what I was going to read. What the hell? Because you want to, you, the thing is, you, you want to. You want to be able to be that big of a person where you're like, this doesn't bother me. I can forgive you. It's fine. But then shit starts coming up and then you'd be like, oh, no, nah, because then this, this nigga did this. Remember when he did this? Like, you want to be that big of a person, but sometimes you just remember shit. you like, oh, yeah, you also did this. Why can't women decide that they've been hurt too bad to continue a relationship. Oh, I've Why? done that already. I'm, I've learned that. And I think that, ooh, I hate to say this because I don't, I'm not that old. I'm only 37. I'm not that old. But I think it comes with age and experience, like for real. Because now I've gotten to the point, or I just in the last few years, um, just in general with just knowing what I want and saying, I'm not going to fucking do this. I'm okay. not going to do this. I don't want to. That's why I'm not going to do it. That's a good enough reason for me. That's all you need to worry about. I just don't want to do this. Like, I'm... I, but I think you can't control love is so fucking weird, right? So you can't <laughs> Blame it control on love. it, but I don't know. I think it comes with just knowing who you are and getting older. And I'm experiencing a lot of shit now getting older that I never thought I would be. Like, I didn't understand why people were these, like, said the things that they say when you, like, just age, like, for real. I get it. I learned a lot now. I get it. But it it just sucks because as the man in a relationship who messed up, now you're trying to do double and extra things just to make sure that the person sees that you have changed. First of all, you shouldn't be so trained in messing up. You see how you said, <laughs> <laughs> like it's so many times. I'm always trying to do the right thing. Nigga, just do the right thing. Nah, but you don't want to <laughs> do the right thing until you do the wrong thing. Okay, you do something wrong. Do something wrong. No, I mean, that was back then, not now. Like, nah, ooh, that's crazy. now. You got to stop massaging me. No, nah, I'm just, talk shit. I'm saying now. I'm a little ashy. Don't make it ashy. <laughs> wow. Oh, What's that's the... funny. That's, and that's funny, but whatever. That that goes with the TikTok that just happened. Really? Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um... Uh, what's the biggest lie you ever told in your relationship, babe? I don't want us to break up. <laughs> I'm toxic. That's kind of funny. I don't want us to break up. I don't want us to break up, but it's like, nah, I do, but like, yeah. I need this drama in my life. Yeah. I know people like that. Um, I'm not going anywhere. Yep. You gone. I believe you. There is that. Um, biggest lie you ever told in a relationship, it was my first time. Y'all can't tell? <sighs> Y'all can't tell that? You talking about in sex? Yeah. 
I don't. I've know. never had a sex with a virgin. With a virgin before. Yeah, I never had sex with a virgin. Oh. Well, technically, I did, but we were both virgins, and you didn't it wasn't know. long enough to yeah. even, yeah, understand. Um, biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? I didn't smash your best friend of twelve years. Yikes! <gasps> Yikes! Was it good though? I mean, because you're figuring if that's her best friend, then she'd already told her stuff about you, and she knows how to satisfy you. And I don't know if there's that many things, though. What you mean? I don't think I don't know if everybody says that many things like in common conversation. I mean, we have a podcast; it's a little different. No, but well, I this is what I always think about. And um, I try to get my boys that are still single to think about this. When you're first kicking in with a person and you don't know where that relationship is going, sometimes you will tell your friends about that sexual experience because will, they're yeah. not they're not with you at that time. That's true. And that stuff will stick in the back of their head. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I remember you said back when y'all was just kicking it that she sucked dick like a motherfucking champion. Yeah, you know I mean, what did you say about me? When we, when we before we got what, together. Uh, whoa, now you stuttering. What did you say? Anything, anything before anything we got about together. me. Yeah, anything. I said that. <laughs> one of the things I know I said is I wish she still had her fro because that's who I wanted to fuck. <gasps> I still have it. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> I still, it's not, it didn't go anywhere. It's um, here. I also said that, oh, she a freak. You said that? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Mm, you didn't know, right? I didn't know at the time that you were just <laughs> putting on a no, show. No, I'm not putting on a show. I'm a freak when I don't have gas. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Let's go. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so complicated. Uh, what is the biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? Um, that wasn't me on Tinder. Damn. That's a lie. That's but a also, lie. why were they on Tinder to see that it was you? Mm. Mm. Uh, your dick big as fuck. You ever told somebody that? Man, yeah. Not big as fuck. Because I don't want it to be like, that's too crazy. If you don't lie, just make, let it be a little lie. Just be like, that dick big. Not with a lot of exclamations around it, though. Not like, that dick big. Don't say that. Say, that dick big. That you dick big? Hell yeah, that dick big. You ain't never big. said that to me. But I, it's not As regular conversation. As a lie or truth. But like. I don't really just, I don't never say <laughs> things like that, though. But you said you just, you said it. Remember how I said when I got older, I learned more things. And that's one of the things that I learned. I don't need to tell that, because I don't care about that. The biggest... When a woman says she doesn't care about size, she means your size is who she's dealing with no, now, so it I doesn't just matter. No, I've learned. I've learned that, you know, it just depends on the person. I'm like, you no, no men can't control their dick size. So there's no, nothing that you so can do about that. So now it's up to God. I just love the person you are. But what? that's not fair. So all the dudes with little dicks never going to get love? Somebody got to love them. <laughs> What are you talking about? Why are you saying it like that? Just like we can't control our vaginas, y'all can't control y'all dicks. Y'all gotta stop shaming people. Who? People in general. When they shame people. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it's a little dick. It's a big dick. But also, do they know what to do with it? It's only shaming if it's little. If it's big, it's not a shame. If it's too big, that's not fun. You would know, What right? is next, man? God damn. <laughs> uh... Uh, what's the biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? I don't care what we eat, baby. You pick. Oh. <laughs> oh. I be lying, man. Hate that. I lie. But I lie that most of the time when I'm telling you I lie. Maybe because the stuff that I want is a little expensive. So I try to just think of like cheap stuff. Mm. Like, man, just pick a place. I'll find something at that place. <laughs> It'll work it. for me. I get it. And I appreciate you for that. Because I be knowing you lying, but... You know, given the 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 state of our statements that come in from the bank, I'm with the lie. I am with the lie. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? I had to go home and feed my dog. I didn't have a dog. <laughs> I've said those kind of lies. Yeah, I've said.
said things. Like, I've done the, yo, at this time, call me. Like, I've done that. Send me a call or a text, and I'll just leave out, oh, my God. Like, I'll, you know. Oh, yeah. I've done that. Yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. Let me just. Didn't go. I just do that to you yesterday or something? Yeah, like that? but I said, I'm going to be high. I'm not going to remember time. <laughs> When I'm high, I don't know time. <laughs> what you, is time? You was like, at 11 o'clock, text me. I was like, nigga, it's an indica. I might be asleep by 11 o'clock. <laughs> I'm going to be knocked out. Uh, what is the biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? Nah, it's not little. It's average. What is average? I don't How know. How does a woman know what average is? Is the average of the penises you've had in your life? I think or average is, it is average like five scientifically? or seven or something. No, but that's what I'm saying. Are you saying it's average because of actual scientists. See, that's the thing. Science you don't or is know av- because everybody average. hasn't experienced every single dick. Yeah, but if you have three, you can still come up with an average of what the dick is in your life. Okay. Like, well, yeah. I had a homegirl who... This is how you know I'm too close to my female friends, man. I had a homegirl who told me that she didn't want to deal with her now husband because his dick wasn't as big as her person beforehand oh so i'm like well it don't she really said that ma- right so i'm like it don't really matter this that and the third and she was like you don't understand old boy was 13 inches i measured it that's too big and i was like that's too big that's not that's not fun that's not fun that's, too, that's not too that <sighs> nope no 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 i no. i was i so that's too that's too crazy it it threw me off. It mm-hmm. threw me. I, and I looked at my dick later that day saying, brother, we ain't never going to get nobody. <laughs> Did you pull a ruler out? You ever pulled a ruler out? Hell yeah. Pull a ruler, a remote control, a deodorant, uh, deodorant bottle. Um, bottle? Yeah. How you? What kind of deodorant is that? What, the roll on. Oh, is it a bottle? This is a cylinder. Oh, oh, that's not good. You shouldn't use that. That, that don't work. The cylinder ones? Yeah. The little rollerball? That don't work. <laughs> it's too thin. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, I wasn't checking girth. I didn't know girth mattered at that time. Why did you buy it? Why is it in your house? Because I was putting it on my own. You're not a grown, you're a grown man. <laughs> um, what's the biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? I have five kids, but I really have three. Damn, she was trying to get rid of that person. I was about to say, I've never heard anybody <laughs> increase their kids. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know where that money went. That's a lie. Man, that's me all, all day. day. I don't never know where that money went. All day. Uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest lie you've ever told in a relationship? I didn't have sex with your mother. Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, I've told the lie I wouldn't have sex with your mother. You fuck somebody. You be fucking moms though. I do, but I didn't. I I <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> this particular person, I didn't fuck her moms, but I wanted to. I wanted to bad. Oh, man, that's crazy. Oh, I think you got a you got a really good mom. I thought you like you <laughs> <laughs> you got some maternal trust issues, but you got a, you got a good mom. I don't understand why you like this. Uh, I trust you knowing damn well I haven't trusted a soul since the 99 and 2000. Damn. Yeah, we gotta let go of that. Um, what's the biggest lie you ever told in a relationship? I told an ex I paid the utility bills, then moved out, and two days later, all that shit was off and way past due. Oh, that's so <laughs> fucked up. That's so fucked up, man. That is fucked up, but damn, that's fucked up. Am I gonna read this? You can read both. Um, uh, Biggest lie you ever told in a relationship. Um, she said it was not her lie, but his. Me, where are you off to at this hour? Him, to the phone box. The next day while I'm at work, I get a call. Me, why didn't you come home last night? Him, or uh, I'm in Spain. They live in the UK. He was so nonchalant about it, like he took a wrong turn. Um, well, I took a wrong turn, too, into another guy's bed. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Damn. Uh, biggest lie told to me while engaged she told me that her deceased mother was white and there was an entire white side of her family that would be at the wedding her mother is black yo that's when you lie for, you're lying for no reason cause what you're lying for no like what what does that lie get you 
And are y'all still married? Yeah, because that's that, that was the other question. That's a wild lie. Like <laughs> that's a wild lie. Because why? There's no. There's absolutely nothing that comes out of that at all. Dang, that's crazy. At all, man. That's crazy. Um, we are. Are we on tour? Is it tour? I don't know if we can call it tour. We are taking dates right now until the tour starts. Uh, we're workshopping. We're workshopping the, the show. Uh, the show. Yeah. Until we get to Broadway. What the fuck are you talking about? Because you know that's what they do. They. All right, baby. I'm. A, I got it from here. <laughs> um. So we are not on tour, but uh, we have dates. Um. Right now, it's just one. Um. Jacksonville, Florida. March 3rd, we're going to see y'all at the Comedy Zone. Tickets are on sale. Um, y'all know we've been having issues with promotion. So I hope that y'all are um, seeing all this, getting the word out, tell your people, whatever. Um, I know. Don't direct me. I know how to do this. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Jacksonville, Florida. We will be there March 3rd at the Comedy Zone zone super excited about the show y'all been asking us to come to jacksonville for a while now um so i really hope y'all get y'all tickets and y'all come out y'all have a good time with, um with us somebody said that they hope we eat well at home because the food there is trash which i'm gonna try not to believe um because i think there's a good spot everywhere but uh if you know any y'all know we love food uh send us a recommendation that would be great um so march 3rd jacksonville florida that's in like less than two weeks so get those tickets um the last hello fresh delivery received was amazing i liked it jay liked it the kids liked it and i wasn't surprised because every time we get meals from hello fresh the entire house is more than happy because um it's faster and i'm not taking all day in the kitchen they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day and hello fresh agrees in fact they're giving all subscribers free breakfast for life that means you'll enjoy a totally free breakfast item with every single hello fresh delivery Go to HelloFresh.com slash ATWHS free and use code ATWHS free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. Whether you're trying to save money, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Say hello to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef crafted recipes at a price you'll like delivered right to your door, like immediately just right to your door. No more staring blankly in the fridge, wondering what to make for dinner like I do every single day. Give HelloFresh a try and dig into their biggest menu yet with over 45 recipes to choose from each week. Go to HelloFresh.com slash ATWHS free and use code ATWHS free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. And I guess while we're doing announcements or notes or whatever, um, if you are on our Instagram Follow the, and then we had, and then we pod to page. It's a real page. It's our page. A lot of people are not seeing our reels and our content and all that stuff on a regular basis. So, um, we started a new page, um, posting some of the same stuff. Um, we're going to try to post some newer stuff too, but it's, and then we pod to on Instagram, please follow that page so we can get back into the algorithm because it is really, it's going through a lot right now. So, um, yeah, we appreciate y'all. We love y'all, all that good stuff. So make sure you follow that page. Yeah. Did you just eat something? What did you eat? <clears throat> I haven't had anything to eat. That's great. Cool. I had a cookie. Oh, well, that's nice too. Um, You want to talk about TikTok was up in an uproar? Y'all, I don't have that much to say about this because look, I... Re I, so I watched four parts of it, <laughs> just four. Then I read the Sipnot, Sipnosis, Sipnot, well, what, what, synopsis. What was it for people synopsis. that don't know? Why? Uh, who the fuck did I marry? Mm -hmm. So basically this woman is telling this story about uh, this path pathological liar that she ended up marrying. He was lying about uh, marriages, places he lived, his career. Um, that was a good-ass uh, cookie. Money, um, a lot. He lied about a lot. Um, which, you know, people be lying. But listen, no one died. No one got arrested, as far as I saw. <laughs> um, 
none of the things, like none of the big things that I was looking oh, for. Oh, someone did get arrested? Oh, someone did get arrested. They got arrested. Oh, okay. All right. So that happened. But like, not for a long time, right? Okay. So real quick, that ain't shit. I know people that get arrested for years behind lies. None of that shit happened. But nobody died. I was looking for it. Somebody said, this is going to be made into a movie just like Zola did. When Zola went on her rant on Twitter years ago, if y'all remember that, her shit did get made into a movie. I didn't see the movie. I should have seen it. Your brother it. saw it. He said it was good. He said it was good? Mm -hmm. Oh, he likes shit like that, though. He, that, was, that was his favorite type of yeah, women. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, I didn't see the movie. I did want to see the movie. But I was like super into that story i was intrigued i followed the bitch on twitter i wanted to see if she had some more shit up her sleeve like she had mad stories that did not grab me like that mm. it did not make me want to go watch all of those tiktoks hey, like it wasn't the back. same thing as zola like i know people that have lied crazy like cr i know some wild ass liars and um i don't usually pl plug other podcasts well, yes, I do. I do plug out the pocket. I'm lying. We're not one of those. Um, but a friend of ours, um, that's another comic. Her name is Liz Barlow. She's on tour with Nicole Byer right now. Um, she has on Nicole Byer's um podcast, I think it's Why Don't You Date Why Don't You Won't You Date Me or something like that. I can't remember. She has an episode up there where she talks about mad shit. And that was way more entertaining to me than this TikTok shit. She talks about stuff she did, like baby daddy shit, people she's dated. And I've heard all her stories, and they are wild as hell. So to me, that's a better story if you want to go hear a better story. And it's not 50 TikToks long. It's an episode that may be an hour, I think. Um, but no, I just know greater liars. <laughs> <laughs> and also, with all the, all the lies that I heard, like I can't fault her because a lot of people were like, you're just telling a story about all these red flags you missed. Which is kind of wild. But I I can't fault her because I fell for somebody that was telling me like wild lies. And you knew it. But he had, I, and I did know it after a while, but after that, I mean, I was pregnant. But um, like, I, I did that, but I was also young. I was like 20 when all that happened. I was like, yeah, I was like 19, 20 when that was happening to me. This woman is grown. She's a grown woman. And some of these, I'm just like, all right, well, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. I'm not, I'm, okay. But, you know, everybody. So was it her fault that she got lied to like that? No, I don't. I, I think it was both <coughs> of their faults. I think he'd just be lying. Mm -hmm. But I think she, some of that stuff was like, ma'am, ma'am. What, what? I don't know. She said he kept getting on the phone every day talking to a brother that he didn't have. I mean, a, he had a brother, but he hadn't spoken to his brothers, so she mm. didn't know who the fuck he was talking to every day. He said he played <laughs> arena football. Like, he was doing all this shit. He said he was buying a house, and he had this loan, and he showed her paperwork for the loan that he got approved for from Chase Bank. But I think Damn. that shit was fake. It was just a lot of shit. I was like, ma'am, I... I don't know. Listen, sometimes telling lies are fun. Yeah, because she got 2.2 2 million followers on um, TikTok now. And I looked the other day and she had less than a, a 100,000. Oh, wow. Hmm. Like, I looked the other day and I was like, what the fuck? And then I looked today and it was 2.2 2 million. Maybe you need to tell a story Because all the blogs picked it up. Yeah, I saw. And then they <clears> found <throat> him. And then he released a TikTok. I just saw it on Twitter. Somebody had it on Twitter. It's a lot of social media shit. And he was like, she lying to y'all. I'm going to talk to somebody. I guess he's going to go and get interviewed by somebody. I don't mm. know who I'm going to talk to, but everything she said was a lie. Damn. And I was like, all right, well. Yeah, maybe, maybe you need to. Uh... I'll listen to that story, though. I do want to hear what he said. I'll, I'll listen to the back and forth. That's what I'll. But the whole story, I'm not spending 50 TikToks. And they're not the short ones. You know, TikTok can do longer videos now. <laughs> They like five minutes. Like I'm not doing that. I'm not ten minutes. I'm not doing that. I don't have that much time in my day. No, that's I'm wild. not doing that. That's why. That's crazy. So yeah, I'm not. I mean, there's nothing against y'all. I know a lot of people listen to all of them or watched all of them. I just I read the little synopsis and I was like, all right, nobody died. So crazy. Damn. He crazy. He wild. <clears throat> all right. Yeah. Um, a man divorced his wife for withholding sex. They'd have. Sex only twice in two years. I put that in there. I, I saw. I thought that you would have a thing to say about. You know, I read it and then I was like, you know, I've I've already put out my grievances way more than enough. So why 
put this out there. But you wanted to talk about it, so tell me what you were thinking. Fine. He said, I will never again negotiate sex in a marriage. It's why I got divorced. Men are miserable because you are withholding sex from him until he does what he's told. That's a private hell. If that That's is, a punishment. If that is done to me, you're out, sweetheart. Too many women out here who give sex without conditions. Mm, um, will uh, Quote, unquote, will you take care of the kids, the house, the dishes? I do that shit already and don't get laid for doing it. Your sex being held at the end of a fishing pole for compliance is only going to make you suffer. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that? Withholding sex? I don't, but I don't withhold it for <clears throat> that, though. I just sometimes I withhold it because I just don't feel well. My body, my hormones, everything. We've talked about this. Mm -hmm. And but I don't I don't say do this and then I'll fuck you. I don't do that. I True, think that's but what do you think about I this? I think that's though? fucked up. You can't do that. First of all, why are you using it as a treat when it's it's sex? It's just you know what I mean? Like I get it's that. part of well, I wouldn't to be like you acting like somebody a dog. Like you do this, I'll give you some pussy. Like I'm not I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. I've withheld dick. Just to Why get do you things have to, done. Every time you talk about dick, you say it like that. Like, dick. <laughs> I don't say pussy. I don't say that. It's just, you know, vagina. <laughs> vagina. The vagina diner. The vagina. Nah, I withheld dick, though. Just <laughs> Give me to... some of that vagina. <laughs> Yo, that's a wild boy. That's a wild boy. Orlando Jones. Uh, Orlando is a wild boy. Not Orlando Jones. Not him. <laughs> um, no, I've withheld penis just so that a woman would do something that I wanted her to do. That's crazy. Yeah. It and worked, you, though. That, that's crazy. It worked. Why is it crazy that it worked? Uh, baby, come you on You don't think now. I got the power? I just don't think any dick is that special. But especially yours. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> but, like, withholding it, like, okay, like, I'll go finger myself. I'll make sure that it happens the way I want it to anyway without, you know. Cause what if you don't get it and then we fucked and I didn't come anyway? Withhold it. Fine. You can only you can only do that to women that you know you're pleasing. You can still please a woman and they and they not come. Why why don't you understand that? I've told you that before. I didn't say anything about coming. But I'm I said saying pleasing. if you withholding dick, then I'm gonna go figure it out myself. Mm -hmm. At least I know I'm gonna come. You know what I mean? It's nothing against you. It's just you know the world. But I don't. I think it's fucked up. I don't think you should do that. I don't think you should withhold it as a like as a. I'm not a child. Don't do that to me. What's the difference between pleasing and coming? You know. No, I don't. I'm asking you. You. It just, feels good, and then sometimes we just don't expect to come all the time, and that's fine. It can still feel good. So you what know? would you, what would you rather to come or to be pleased? Uh, both. No shit. But no, I'm not choosing both. Why would, wouldn't you would, choose? What do you mean? Both. I would rather both. But if both isn't going to happen. I like being pleased. I mean, I'm, you know, it's happened more. So basically what you're saying is that if you come, you've been pleased always. No. But if what? Yeah, I guess it's you pleasing can, to come. <laughs> but you can be pleased without coming. Yeah. But you can't come without being pleased. Yeah. You did it. You see how you put that together? That's exactly what I was trying to say. That right there. Yes. Yes. So it's, yeah. Do you come more or please be pleased more with me? I come a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you receive more, pleasure or coming? The second one. Come both, in. both, both. I said, what do you receive both, more? Both, psych, both. Psych, both. Psych, <laughs> <laughs> both. Both. No, which one happens more? Both. So, more, so out They're of both good things. So, if I said I was pleased more, that's a good thing. So, out of five times we have sex, you're saying you come at least three of those times? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Nope, I'm not. I don't know math. I'm not good at math. I've told you this. Don't do it. I don't. You know. have sex five times. Yes, that's the first part. Right. And then out of those five times, three of those times, are you coming or are you being pleased? And that's it. I'm coming. I was about to say I'm being pleased. And that's every it. single time. Okay, but are you coming every single time? No. No. I'm not. Are you coming more than you're being? 
just pleased. No. But that's my body. Right? I don't know. It's your body. But that's fine. I'm still, I'm in there. I'm having a good time. And I like seeing you come. It's fun. That's good. I like it. I'm not saying, but when you say that, it makes it sound like it's every single time. Your face makes it look like, oh, so you just trying to say I ain't never, and that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm literally just saying the percentages are not what you said. So what's the percentages out of five times? I don't know math. You want to keep asking me questions, and we've already been through this. You know how many times I did algebra one? 20%, which is one. It's out of five. 40%, which is twice out of five, and you can get the rest, hopefully. Yeah. What is, what is next? Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Man. Mm. Um, you must have put this in here. I didn't put this in here. I don't know what it is. Um, oh, yeah. Age old question. Well, not age old, but definitely the last week in my household. Um, Koi Ray doesn't understand how this generation can't cook. I want my food cooked on the stove, not an air fryer. And first of all, I saw this article and I looked to the comments and they said the same shit. Ain't nothing wrong with an air fryer. I didn't say it was anything wrong with an air fryer, but is cooking air frying? Yeah, I think it's, it's crock pot is cooking. Air fryer is cooking. Ain't she like 20? <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> the fuck? She ain't got no kids. If she don't shut up. What? When y'all coming in here and demanding shit be done right away and I don't have time to get it done during, like in the beginning of the day, like today, I'm baking fresh bread. That's fucking crazy, right? But if it's like 20 minutes, I can get a whole meal done in the air fryer in, in 30 minutes. Okay. So you're calling that cooking? Yeah. I don't think it's cooking. I seasoned it. Nigga, I'm not the pot. When I put it in the pot, the pot is still doing the work. Like, I don't put it in my hands and cook it in my hands. A pot is a tool, just like an air fryer is a tool. Okay. What do you mean? Okay. I can't, like, blow my hands and make them hot and then put the food in there and be like, ooh, <laughs> it's from scratch. Rub it up a little bit. Yeah, just, it's ah. from scratch. No, all of those are tools. The oven, just like when you're baking something, you mix all the ingredients together, you put it in the oven, the oven cooks it. You're still cooking it. Okay, so air frying is cooking to you. Yeah. Talking about. I just want okay. All right. You don't think it's cooking? I have you eaten food that's coming from an air fryer? Of fry? course. Right. You could it was cooked, right? Yeah. Was it wrong? Like, listen, when the air fry came out, I was okay with you leaving the house during dinner time. Because you finally knew how to cook for the family. Yeah, exactly. And don't you ever tell anybody out here that you cook again. <laughs> Wait, no. Because you always talk about I be cooking, and no, you don't. And no, you don't. So <laughs> Um, would you accept a proposal from someone behind bars? No. Nah. Why? Because what if... Nah. And you know what? Everybody else, you can do what you want to do. And that's great. That's fine. But what if I believe you did it? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just out here trying to be supportive of you. <laughs> I'm being supportive in front of you and your friends. But what if I think you really did it and you're going to be in there for a minute? <laughs> what if you propose to me and you like, because you know I'm about to get out. And I don't think you're about to get out. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't have I don't have time. What if I, I, I no, no. Okay. okay. Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> what? <laughs> you try to be emotionally supportive and then he just keeps saying, you know, I'm getting out in three years. <laughs> like, you are absolutely not getting out in three years. Oh I don't my see God. that for you, playboy. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, how about when you get out, then you propose to me? Wow. Because you still there emotionally. I want to be emotionally supportive of somebody, but I'm not, I'm not doing that. Okay. There's a whole show now. Prison Wives. About mm -hmm. these women that have met them as pen pals. Right. No, I did see. Because I don't think any of them started off like loving them outside of prison. I think they met them as pen pals in right. prison. Right. I can't. I'm not doing that. What about they write really well and eloquently? No, we could be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not doing that. Damn, son. I'm not doing that. 
Mm-mm. You ain't got no faith. What if you in prison and you get married? Like, do your does your credit and stuff still count outside? What like, you mean? If your credit is bad, but you in prison and you don't have time to fix it because you in prison, is that still gonna fuck my credit up? Nah, but if you in prison for seven years, you might luck up and when wow. you get out, your credit is way better. I might need somebody with a fresh start. <laughs> 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 I never thought about that. Yeah, if it's like seven years, then maybe. <laughs> long as you don't do no shit while you still in prison and you you get extended longer. Oh shit! But if it's uh, seven years, is the is the is the point? That's the cutoff. Yeah, that's the cutoff. But if it's longer than that, then. <laughs> the man said he was gonna give you seven years. Don't fuck up. In there. Oh shit! Um, B condoms, which I love. Yeah. Uh, they always put up. Um, some great posts on mm. Instagram. They have this thing called Eight Things Men Want Women to Know About the Penis. Okay. And I was curious, but I said I would not open it up until I was with you. Okay. So. What if there's nothing in here that's like, well, you, like there are two balls. Well, sometimes. supposedly, supposedly this is things that men want women to know. So I'm going to see if any of these things I want you to know. Okay. All right. So. Number one, uh, you can't make assumptions about the size. Well, we've already, we it says don't judge the size of your penis by your shoe size, nose size, our height, or, or by our dick print. There is no correlation. Also, seeing our penis when it is flaccid doesn't give you an idea of the size when it gets. That's dumb. Everybody knows that. That's stupid. I think that's already common knowledge. Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. think that's a good one. Number two. The average, the average guy, guy lasts five to seven minutes in bed. Hold up, wait a minute. According to the National Library of Medicine, trusted resources, the average length of time a man should last before ejaculating is between five to seven minutes. This does not mean we cannot last longer than seven minutes. We just want you to understand that real life sex is different from what you see in porn where men last for hours on end. Okay. <clears throat> what has been the average for you without me? Because I, I know I'm an anomaly, but... I'm not an anomaly. I mean, about about that, maybe 10 minutes. That's average. You're talking about average. You're not just asking me about the longest time I ever had sex, yeah. right? Okay, so average, that's about right. And there's nothing, that's fine. That's about right. That's why, also probably why most of us don't come all the time, because you're worried about yourself. Wait, wait a minute. What? What's the longest time you ever had sex? I don't think that was one of the questions that they asked. No, I, I want to know. I think you just added a new conversation. <laughs> no, I want to know. We should just talk about. What no, no, no. Is what's the us? longest time you ever had sex? I don't know. I don't. You remember how I said I can't do math? No, I don't fuck know, you I don't and math. I don't know. I want to know. Tell. Give me an average. You know, a roundabout. I don't remember anything before you. That's a lot because I just told a story about somebody else, didn't I? Okay. Um, man. Shit. Well, I don't know. Maybe th- we had watched the movie, two movies. No, 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 no. Just one movie. It was an animated well, short. Fucking touch me. <laughs> it was an animated short. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I no. Three to four hours. No, 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 no. that's actually a lie. I lied. I've never had sex that long. It was just one movie. But what it was movie? Like a- Malcolm X. No, it was. You are not going to believe this. <laughs> it was the first Rugrats. You were fucking do, in front do, of the Rugrats? Do, 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 do. That got to be against the law in some kind of state. Why? You know Tommy Grown, for real. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! The way that he navigate them kids. Wait, wait. You've had sex for over an hour? Let's go back to what I was watching. No. Why the fuck? Do you act like you can't have sex for longer than fucking five minutes with me? Because I hadn't had twins. What the fuck that mean? Exactly. I don't know. Twins did something to my body where it don't do the same thing. And, and I wasn't 37. Okay. Or you, 30. You, you, know why, you know why the, the only reason I'm going to give you a pass is because the second time we had sex, we had sex from nighttime to morning. I think it was just dark outside and it happened to be right when it was about to be daybreak. Don't touch me. (laughs) Don't touch me. Man, you fuck during the sunset. That's nice. It's a nice time. 
It's good. It's good. I think it was late, baby, for real. But nah, you did that. It was at least four in nah, the morning. Nah, you killed that shit. You killed that shit. Fuck you. Nah, for real. You did. <sighs> Let's go back. The penis has a mind of its own. We have less command over the penis than other parts of our body. That is why we sometimes have erections in completely inappropriate situations or places, even when we're not thinking about sex. Yo, I used to get hard <laughs> all the time at church. Oh my ah, gosh. You know what? You know how hard it is to pray with your dick was hard? It, was it when they were singing? Because you know how you no, get... No, you know during you, the prayer. I was trying to save you. You know how you get goosebumps in your arm when it get real good? Maybe your dick was also like, oh my God, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like it would happen like just in the worst times or like they passing a the plate and, oh my gosh! Damn, I used to put, hate it. Damn, you got a rushes during offering. That's, yeah, that's man. when everything goes down. It, 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 I dry up during offering. No, <laughs> no, and then it it made it bad because ah! <laughs> it made it bad because the pastor had a daughter and the daughter was bad. So and you, I would look at her all so the time. So that was the like, source. Oh. That was the source. Not of all the, the time erection. though. Not all the you time. You knew she was in the room. You I, felt it. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, maybe she sees me putting putting, putting these coins in this collection plate. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me pull out an extra couple of dollars so she know. <laughs> Give them three dollars today. That's good. Maybe all the pastors should have fine kids that will make you want to uh, tithe a little bit more. It made me want to come to church every. <laughs> oh Did you learn anything at church? Ah, oh, damn. Nope. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nope. All right. Oh, my gosh. What else? Um, getting hard is sometimes hard. If we're hooking up with you and we don't get hard, it doesn't mean we're not into you. Stress, anxiety, depression, alcohol use, and even certain medications can make getting an erection difficult. It has nothing to do with you. Don't overthink it. Here we go. Can I also say that uh, that also has the same thing to do with hormone? Like, we... If there are anything that we want y'all to know about women and hormones in the vagina, those things also okay. affect that. Okay. Why are you so much more accepting of it? Never mind. It's fine, right? We're doing good. Oh, no, never mind. I won't. No, go ahead. All right. So why are you so much more accepting when you can't get your dick up? And apologizing to me, but when I say something about it, it's a, you got attitude. Is it because it's like one of the couple of times that you can get your dick up, and then you're like, "Well, I'm ready. You should be ready." What if I said the same thing to you? Hmm. But I respect the fact that you're about to be forty. I respect it. You don't care about me. <laughs> My age don't have shit to do with you. You don't care about me. <sighs> That's not true. You don't care about me. No, I care about you. But I don't think you think about it at the same time. You get down on yourself if it happens to you. And then when I, like, I don't like it either, but I just don't get down on myself because I know sometimes it's going to happen. And you just be like, oh, okay, whatever, I, fine. No, when you, no, no, You no, want me no, to no. be sad about it like you? <laughs> no, that's not the case. You never say, it just ain't wetting up today. But it affects my body, everything. Like just what emotions. affects your body? It, my libido, everything. It affects all of that stuff. Stress, See, not anxiety, talking about libido, all those though. things. Like it, it, but it affects everything. It doesn't matter just because you can't get a dick up. That's part of your libido, right? If it's low, you that means you, it ain't it ain't operating right. All I know is that when I can't get it up, I do my best to get it up. When you can't get it. But does it always wet? Work? Does it always work? Yeah, give me thirty minutes. And do you think I have that type of time? <laughs> <laughs> I just accept you for you, and I keep going about my day. And I go downstairs, and I make bread or whatever the fuck I got to do. Yeah, no, you don't go make bread. I'm making bread today. <laughs> <laughs> Blue balls are real. When we get turned on but don't get to come, we feel ache, pain, and heaviness in our balls. This condition is called blue balls. While blue balls can be very uncomfortable, they are not harmful. It's not the end of the world. You don't have to feel pressure to make us come, although we'd really appreciate you helping us out. Never have blue balls. 
Because you just, you know, you release a lot. The best time for us to have sex is in the morning. Thanks to morning wood, our testosterone levels are highest in the morning between 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. We're also likely to last longer in the morning than in any other time of the day. This does not mean we cannot enjoy sex at any other time, but sometimes just hits different about morning sex. Now, I think I've told you that before. Yeah, but I can't even get you to wake up to get the kids ready for school in the morning. Like, you really think I can wait? I'm going to wake you up extra? Like, I can't. Yo, there's, if you said, baby, wake up, we got to get the kids together, I'm tired. If you said, wake up, baby, you got to get this pussy, girl, I'm up. I don't have that type of time. I get up at the very last minute. Set your alarm. So what you're saying. Set is your alarm. I set my alarm mm -hmm. to have sex mm -hmm. in the morning. Yeah. You want to have sex in the morning? Yeah. You can't go back to sleep after you have sex either because we got to get the kids ready for school. <laughs> <laughs> but Conundrum, I, huh? But I said it extra early to make sure I can get a little nap in before. Yeah, no, no, no nap. Or right after. Because then I have to wake you up from that nap, and I don't want to have to wake you up at all. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Okay, cool. We going, we, guys, we going to see. Okay. All we right. are going to see. Anything next? Um, uh, we get wet, too. <laughs> yes, when we are sexually aroused, we release a white colorless liquid called pre -com. We know there this, we go. though. All right. Um, penis shaming is body shaming. Okay. Mm. Right. Say it again. Why are you saying that to me? I don't care. Not you, but I just looked at you. But say it again. All right. And that's, that's it. it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to things that have nothing to do with sex. Uh, damn, was a lot of it. A lot of stuff up here. We got Patreon too. Um, well, you you put this in here. Did I put that in there? Yeah, you did, because I definitely did it. Um, I don't even know what it says. Oh, Cat Williams will be live on Netflix with his newest comedy special on May 4th for Netflix is a joke fest. Oh, that's a baby's birthday. So it's the same thing that um Chris uh Chris Rock did. Yes. I you know what? I'm <clears throat> looking forward to it. Why? Because I wasn't a big fan of his last special. And I can I'm you know, people can say that. You can have your opinions. I wasn't a big fan of it because for one it felt like it was more about showing how big the stadium was and the stadium wasn't even all the way filled. The arena was or whatever. Then the show, like the, the jokes were okay, but it sounded like he was trying to dip into a, it was like political and like, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it just didn't feel the same. And the sound, the audio wasn't that good. So you didn't really hear the audience. It sounded like he was bombing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just wasn't a big fan of that, but I think with a live show, you can really hear what's going on. Um, he's very, uh, sharp off the cuff. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be good. I okay. think it'll be funny. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so no, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, uh, world's first silent mass lets you take calls without anyone around listening. Yo, <clears throat> the shit look like you sub zero, but if I see a nigga like that, I know he cheating. <laughs> There's no way, and and the page that posted it is a business page. Get the fuck out of here! No, that looks so dope. Though any, you know anybody that got that, like they ain't cheating. Not I'm, cheating. First of all, yeah, yeah, they are because you're going out with this mask. That's yeah. a lot of mask and a privacy screen. That's stupid. I'm not doing that. I don't want nobody to know nothing. That's too crazy. You just too many links to go. <laughs> um, Uno came out with oh, the nah, official fuck rule. Uno. Hey, fuck Uno. The official rule is that you cannot put a draw two on top of a draw two. And fuck you, because I'm going to still do it. They don't play stacks. I'm going to still stack. That And that's the thing. See, that's the thing. You got to call stacks if you're going to be stacking. I didn't know we had to call rules in Uno. No, you got to call stacks. I thought stacks. it was just like common knowledge that, no, yo, I'm No, there's put, never common knowledge <laughs> in Uno. That this about to be six, and don't say shit to me, because no. it's four and it's two. No, wait, you can't do four and a two, then that that's not... A that. Draw, draw, oh, a draw and a two. Uh, no, a draw two, two on or, top of a draw two. I think that's a lie. I think the four and the two would have been more of a like maybe, but the no, two and they the already two, told that a couple of years ago that you couldn't do that. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck what they say. What are you talking about? You can't put a draw four and a draw two. Okay, cool. You're not gonna do that, but I'm gonna do it. You and can't. I'm, I'm gonna say you're cheating. And I'm also gonna put a two on a two. And this is why I'm teaching the kids how to play Uno. You gotta teach my babies to stack, or we not play Uno. No, you can play stack. Don't let I, them go over nobody's house and say and get whooped because somebody else put in draw two or draw two. If only if they call stacks. If you don't call stacks, it don't count. No, no, that's that's a lot. 
That's a lot. It don't count. Well, they not going to their house then. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Tell my baby they can't stack no cars. Nah, man. Uh, oh, we'll I, talk about that on Patreon. Oh, okay. You want to talk about that now? I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't okay. care. Um, Delta flight diverted after maggots fall on passenger from overhead bin. That is fucking disgusting. They said there was old fish in the bin. Yeah, yeah. That... One time, and I think I've told this story before, but it's been a long time. So when I was younger, um, my cousin, she was older. It was an older woman. My cousin used to bring like food pantry stuff to the church, right? Mm -hmm. So she would always bring breads and different things that came from um, uh, like the food place that was like getting rid of food, whatever. So one time she had, she brought some candy. And like some Dove chocolates and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we had just like gotten all the stuff out the food pantry, like from church. And then we went to the movies that day. And we were in there, we killing our snacks, pop, popcorn, pop. We get in the car, I open up one of the Dove chocolates, and there's maggots in it. Ew. And I was like, this is nasty. Let's try another one. Do what? And I opened another one, and there was maggots in it. I opened seven of them. There were maggots in all of them. So we had been eating maggots in the movie theater. <laughs> Why everybody grab? Oh my god. My grab his chest. <laughs> we were devout. I mean, so much protein, let me tell you. <laughs> but we had been killing magnets. No, well, yeah, essentially killing them because we was chomping them, but yeah, I thought it was like dove with nuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> I thought I told you that story before. You've never told me that story. <laughs> that is disgusting. <sighs> um, yeah. Jennifer Lopez says that upcoming album might be her last album ever. Is it the This Is Me Now one? Yeah. It might be. Maybe I don't think she, you know, she might not be. She's getting older. Um... Maybe they just not really fuck. It, it seemed like people don't really fuck with J-Lo. And I feel bad for her because she didn't do nothing. <laughs> you know. She didn't do nothing. And I, like I said, I, I like On the Six. I like the. You know, I, I know, like her first album. No, I like the first two albums. I didn't really listen to This Is Me, I don't think. Um, but I like, I, I I don't have a problem with J-Lo. I even like the album, the red one. With the song on it, with what was it, Iggy Azalea or Lot? It was somebody on that shit. I forgot who it was. I liked the album. I didn't love it. It wasn't like my favorite album, but I didn't have a problem with it. Like they, I think they do J Lo bad. I, they, they do, do J Lo dirty, bad, man. And J-Lo I think she's tired of more. it, to be honest with you. She's a great performer, and I think she puts her all into a lot of shit. And they just she does. We what was that? We watched this J-Lo. last year. Her um her documentary. On doing the yeah, Super Bowl yeah, or something yeah, yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. It was so good and she does so much work. But I think we, I think what happened is that. I think people realized that she said nigga years later. <laughs> <laughs> years later. She was like, wait, did she say, I tell them niggas mind their business? No. <laughs> no, and that's fine because she's from the Bronx. You got to stop doing this, yo. <laughs> but I think it, the song's been out. Both, of, I think it was two songs. They, they've been out. And then years later, everybody was like, okay, let's go back and remember all the people that said niggas. No, man. Fat Joe, they was on Fat Joe for saying niggas. And Fat Joe said, fuck you, do something about it. <laughs> and that was the end of it. Like, I think, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what J-Lo did. I, don't, I think we just hear all these stories and these rumors about <laughs> J-Lo being whatever person or... I don't know. I mean, could, might, she might have bad encounters with people, but I don't really know essentially what she did for people to be she like, She didn't Fuck do J-Lo. anything, man. J-Lo was just being J-Lo on the six, Y'all man. was fucking with J-Lo when she was Selena. When she was Selena, <laughs> y'all was fucking with her. Actually, Niggas no. Niggas love Selena. No, no. The uh, Mexican-Americans and... They uh, were upset about oh, it. Oh, they were so pissed. But I know some other Mexicans that was like, okay... I love Selena. I mean, I love J Lo. I'm talking Selena. about niggas was fucking with J Lo when of she course. was Selena. She was the reason that most of y'all knew about Selena, this and we true. love Selena. This is true. <laughs> Selena's his boss. We love <laughs> Selena. <laughs> and now y'all just be trying. I don't understand. I don't get it. But whatever. 
It's fine. Anything for Selena's. <laughs> Selena's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you put an S on it. It was weird. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Selena's with an S. <laughs> oh, man. X-Men 97 resumes the story from the original 90s series. I used to watch that series. Oh, my God. It's coming on Disney+. Plus. Um, damn, when is it well, coming I got to go on? back and watch it then. Yeah, it's. I, I feel like it's coming out really soon. I'm super excited for that. You know what I don't want? What's I don't that? want them to change the animation that much. The, so I saw I saw previews from it. Matter of fact, I'll show you real quick. I saw previews from it. The animation hasn't changed, but so much. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, that's it now. Oh yeah. no, I fuck with this that. March is coming out next uh, month. No, I fuck with that. I didn't want them to change it that much. Yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah. yeah. Now nah, yeah. this shit gonna be hard. Mm-hmm. Jubilee. Mm-hmm. You can't no. find Jubilee in nothing. No, I like that. I like that. That's good. Okay. Yeah, nah, it's gonna be hard. Um, it's a lot of shit in here. It's been a lot of stuff. Um. We'll talk about it on Patreon. Yeah, we get, we'll get, we'll get. To, it's a, it's a lot. It's a yeah, lot of yeah. shit. Make sure you join um, the Patreon, y'all. I've been trying to tell y'all is Patreon is popping now. Oh, and also, um, Super Bowl. I did, I did enjoy Usher. We saw Usher in Vegas, and I was. He had a couple of minutes, and I thought he did a great job. I did too. I did. I did. I've heard people talk shit, and it's just also like he was also singing. <laughs> this thing is also forty five. Like what? Just I, what do you I want wish I would have did a song count of how many songs he actually did because he crammed a lot. Like of what? Do, what do you want him to do? I thought he did. I thought he was fine. Um, but I do think um, I was confused about um, uh, Jennifer Hudson doing the All Star Game. But other than that, I'm okay. What is Jennifer? Uh, we were just talking about musical half times, and I thought we were doing. What Remember is she? Right in the, the All Star Game? She was the halftime show. That before and after we started fucking. I saw it. Well, you oh, was that's facing not the TV. A good... But you saw Jennifer Hudson up there, baby. But I was fucking. But we talked about it. We met, we said. Did we? Yeah, we was like, I'm confused on why Jennifer Hudson is there. Oh, in the beginning, yeah, 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 yeah. before the game, the it was game, game. Time. No, the game. No, game. it was halftime during the game. Was it? Yeah, because you was like, it's halftime. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused by that, but other than that, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. That, that she should never do that again. Um, it wasn't that. It's just like that song is not the. This, song oh yeah, the song it. was trash. It, oh, it trash. was trash Maybe for like twenty twenty four. Like an Olympic song, like Maybe. empowerment. They just didn't fit, but at all, it's fine. Um, what are we watching? Raising Canaan. Saw wow. the ending of that. Shit, boy. I did not think that I would ever get into these shows because I didn't really watch Power. Right. But that shit had me on the edge of my seat. And also, I love Joey Badass. So I, when, was, I was completely can okay we, with Can it. we say that he came back? I think spoiler it's a little, alert. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. My bad. We didn't say spoiler alert first. Oh, spoiler alert. He came back. I've seen them post stuff on social media, though. Okay. So they got to know. Like, somebody got to know. Okay. Well, um, but it was a great ending, is what I was going to say. I, but I didn't give everything away. Nigga, you gave the biggest yeah, part but, away. No, but something else happened. Oh, yeah, I didn't oh, yeah. give everything away. Yeah, 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 but yeah. it was, hey, no, nah, that was tight. Hey, that was tight. They, 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 they doing it. Hell yeah, over there. Uh, watch the Marvels on I Disney Plus. It was trash. Oh yeah, um, we did watch that. It was yeah. trash. It was trash, <laughs> and I, I felt bad because I was like, "Ooh, I women, want this to be good." You want to support women so yeah. bad? Yeah, and every time I try to support y'all, y'all give don't me. Don't tr- do that. <laughs> You I see why Miss Marvel. I though. see why y'all don't uh why y'all don't support each you other, man. You like Miss Marvel though, didn't you? The first one? Yeah, the, no, it was cool. Yeah, you like that. Yeah, so it's fine. Yeah, Shut up. Yeah, but I, I see can't why y'all don't support these that you have under here. So. Um we we watched the underdogs. We did Snoop watch Dog. the other stuff. Okay. Okay. It was very funny, right? Who am I? All right? Who am I? Because Your mother. It was a lot of cussing. It was a whole lot of cussing. But it was like way more than the usual movies where they have like the underdog kids and they be cussing. Yeah, yeah it nah. was it's so much cussing that Ooh, I, I want to know what parents said. It's OK for my baby to cuss 17,000 times. It was so much. Yeah, it was like a lot. And it I was, was like, I know kids be bad, but they don't just be cursing all the time. Like. I mean, they do curse, but not they don't cuss this like that. much. They don't cuss like that. And no. I was sitting there watching it like, <laughs> ooh, oh, ooh. I was like, who, who am I? Why do I feel like this? Like, I don't, I don't mind it a little bit, but it was, it was excessive from the beginning. And it I was, was like, all right, guys. It was. You're right. But You're it was, right. I mean, it was funny. You. 
It was cool. It was cool. But I was even like, woo. It was cool. It it was. And I curse a lot. Y'all know I be fucking shit up in here. <laughs> but I was so taken aback. It wasn't aback. as good as I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought it was going to be better. it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Yeah. Yeah, th- that is, that's great. Right. That's great. But it was a lot. Yeah. Uh, watch the Vince Staples show. I love watch Vince Staples. Watch the whole season. I love Vince Staples. Love Vince. I like that he's, uh, I watched something about him saying there was, there no one's telling a joke the whole show. Right. Which is kind of true, but also in the bank robbery one. That was my favorite episode. He was The t- bank robbery yeah, was Yeah, they were really good episode. in that one. Um, yeah. I just... It was good. I, I mean, I liked it. I would like to see what else happens because I think I yeah, still have questions. I think this is a really good start. But I think that's. I what think he it was, was a really good do. idea. Um, I would just like to see how it progresses as far as now that they've done these first couple of ones. It gave me the vibe of like an Atlanta or something like that. I wouldn't go that far. Well, like that kind of humor, maybe. That kind of humor, maybe. I guess what deadpan and yeah. felt very it's and like then serious, happen- yeah, yeah, serious and yeah, but I guess yeah, it was it was cool though. It wasn't. Don't get me wrong, I liked it. I did like we watched all six episodes in one sitting, but I didn't like it as a as a mini series. Like I I have questions and I want to see more. I don't have any questions. I think the way they did it was designed that way yeah yeah um so i don't have any questions i would just like to see a second season you know now that the idea is out there you know different maybe different writers um oh that was something i wanted to to acknowledge um and i i have to make sure it was also the first episode too but i'm pretty sure every episode was written by him and a woman or him and a man that have a woman name let me um Go ahead. You could talk. Let me see if I can find out if that was the case. Because I feel like I everything that I looked at, mm-hmm. um, it was like him and I, I, I think so. Wait. Nah, it was it was cool though. It I, it's definitely worth a, a a watch. It's definitely worth a watch. Um, I wanted to go to something different. I'm sorry. Will no, you, it's 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 that. fine. You could yeah, go ahead. Um, I watched the Kings of the King of Queens, or the maybe it was the Kings of Queens, I'm not sure. Uh the Run DMC documentary. That was so good. It was so Yeah, I ain't watched good. it. Oh, you man. started watching it without me. I'm sorry. That's you fine. were you were baking or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um it was so good though. Um I learned a lot about Run DMC. Um I didn't know that down with the Kings. You wanna wanna down with the I didn't know that was Run DMC. I never knew that. Okay. I never knew that. Um, which, you know, makes their legacy even better because they kind of reinvented themselves in a lot of ways. Like I remember seeing them mm-hmm. and not and I never knew that was Run DMC because you were so used to seeing Run DMC with their hats and, you know, Adidas tracksuits or whatever the case may be, or you know, just Adidas in general. Mm-hmm. Um, but this was different, you know, with the Down with the Kings part. That really stuck out to me because I used to love that song. Um, and just seeing them reinvent themselves. I also didn't know that was uh, technically a song about God. Didn't know that either. Um, but all in all, great documentary. Go check it out. Um, watched the Jeezy Tiny Desk last night. Oh, yeah, we did watch that. Felt bad about his... Um, audience? Audience. They were trash. About the audience. They were trash. People. But... They also came from Howard University, and I'm thinking that maybe they were just a little bit too young to really get into it. Like, maybe people my age would have really, like, dug into that Jeezy shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was he did good, though, either I, way. I, I talked about how I was mad that I didn't get to go to when he did the whole symphony. Yeah, yeah. With the orchestra. It made, and... that's, it made me want to, it made me say, damn, I wish I would have seen that. Yeah. 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 I can't um, find all the info on Google, but I'm pretty sure after every episode it looked like it. You wrote but, with a woman, yeah. Yeah. Uh Couples to Thrupples. We started watching that. It's That's very, on Peacock. It's very interesting. Very we only interesting. watched one episode. Um, but it's 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 just funny seeing the dynamic, seeing the couples talk about all the different people and mm-hmm. seeing 
the people present what they think the couples want. Like, it was just interesting. Mm -hmm. But we haven't finished this, so. Yeah, got to check that out. Mm -hmm. Um, And finally, I just finished watching, or I'm almost finished with the first episode of The Last Airbender, Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. Um, it's It used to be, a it, it was originated as a cartoon on Nickelodeon. Um, then they had, like, a movie or a miniseries that was terrible. Um and Netflix did it did it over again, um, and it follows more to the lining of the cartoon, mm-hmm. and it's so good so far. The action scenes, the uh, the actors that they picked to play the parts, it's amazing. Like I love it. I can't wait to dig into this man. Um, also watch Next Level Chef. Yes. Um, which we've been talking about. Yes. Um, and it's it's still good. I still love Next Level Chef. We watched uh, We Are Family. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Um, We watched uh, Mike Epps special. Oh, yeah. We watched Mike Epps special. Let me just say this. I feel like I'm not a big fan of the specials from Mike Epps, but Mike Epps is definitely someone that I have to watch high because (laughs) he feels like you're in the room with him and you're high and he's got like he just running around the living room doing shit that's hilarious when you're high. Mm-hmm. And I watched it high and I laughed the entire time. I thought it was hilarious. But it's definitely one of those that I can't be sober and like sometimes I, I like without even noticing it, I analyze comedy specials, just how they're written. Um, but again, comedy is very subjective. And I think that he is hilarious as the nigga to just be at the cookouts and just saying random shit. Cause he just, every subject just comes from out of nowhere. He just be like, man, you know how uh, grass be green and the sky be blue. (laughs) And it's like that. But it was, I thought it was funny. Um, Also, I've watched Love is Blind. (sighs) Guys. um, (laughs) I hate that you don't watch Love is Blind cause there's like so much to get to and I'm not going to be able to get to everything. But these people up here are fucking crazy. Um, every last one of them. Um, and I I think I'm going to watch all of it and then do a deep dive on the whole thing. But um, I will say, and I don't know if y'all have watched the last three episodes, Kenneth made me upset and I did not think he was going to make me upset because I don't like the way he treated that girl. Like, I just didn't like it. If you didn't like her, then say you didn't like her. But he kind of gaslit the fuck out of her. And I don't even like the word gaslighting, but he kind of made her seem like what she was saying was too much. And she wasn't asking for nothing. And she felt if she felt like she really wanted to work on their relationship. And he was just like, so what I'm hearing is, and it didn't have nothing to do with what she was saying. So I was kind of upset about that. But also, um, damn, it was another one. I think, what was her name? Laura? I think the girl's name was Laura that read the fuck out of the dude that went to go sneak off with the other girl that he was, I don't know. I got to watch the rest of them and then I'm going to get back to y'all. Um, also, I think I like, I think I like AD and Clay now because I've been back and forth about them. But I think that Clay got like, I don't know if he got like ADHD or something. He got something. I, not, I'm not going to put that on him. He's just, I've met people like him. And he be talking a lot. He talk a lot. A like lot. you? No, it's it's like a lot. Like he over explains himself sometimes. But like I've, you? But I've met people like, no, it's not like me though. I don't know how to explain it. I've met people like him, but um, I feel like she's become, like she understands who he is. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have to, I got to watch it again. Because these are all just coming off the top. And I hate talking about Love is Blind with you because you don't watch it. And I feel like I got to rush through it. But after I watch all the episodes, after the finale drop, I'm going to come here and I need a segment. But that's fine. Go ahead. What's next? That's all you're going to say about it? Yeah, because it's it's so many different things. Like this whole experiment. You need to take notes. This whole experiment thing is, it's. I think it's so interesting. If I was single, I think I would try it. It's just you got to go through a lot to want to propose to somebody. Unless you're just proposing just to come out on the other end and have a How story. How long are they in the pods before they propose? I feel like it's a couple of weeks. Yeah, hell no. Yeah. It's, I can never do it. When they get out, I know when they get out of the pods, they're together, living together for like a month before the wedding. Because they get them their own houses mm-hmm. in whatever city they're from. Because, mm-hmm. um, it's you know, they do it by city. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they're living together for a month. And then they get married. Yeah. So man. it has to be like a two month process, two or three month process, honestly, because they're I think they film these overseas. I think they film in, in like London or some shit like that. They film. I think they film overseas and then they come back over here and then they do a vacation mm-hmm. 
And then they meet some of the other people too, sometimes. And then they go live with each other and then they get married. So it's like a while. But and you would do that? It would be interesting. No, this I, is your life, nigga. It's and very, it's just interesting. Like I would do the circle. I would want to do the well, circle. Well, the circle is different. You're not proposing to somebody or giving getting I think proposed to. Well, I think the idea of not knowing who's on the other side to me is very interesting. So I would do. You just want to make friends that you don't see. No, I think it's cool. I mean, I, most of the times, most of the friends I make, I don't give a, I'm just friends because we have things in common. Like, I'm not one of those superficial people that's like, I can't be your friend because you, like, no, I'm that. not like that. So I just think it's interesting to really get to know people that you've never seen on the other side of whatever. So I don't know. I have more, I have more notes, but it's fine. Go ahead. You sure? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, you cannot wait to get me off there. I told you. No. I didn't. <laughs> um, listener questions. Uh, we had this one come in a couple of days ago, and yeah, here it goes. Hey, I follow you, and I love you and your wife's show. I have a question. A chick I was fucking around with came up to me on Bourbon Street and said, hey, I said, hey, back and turned to my fiance and said, this is my fiance. Now, I haven't seen or heard from this girl in four to five years. So my girl said, hey, and the ex turned to the turned to the dude and said, this is my boyfriend. And we shook hands after they walked away. My girl asked who she was. And I told her she snapped basically. And now we broke up. Was disrespectful on my part, or was the my girl wrong because she hiding something? Um, what were you doing? I'm trying to make sure I can take it in. Why don't you answer first? Um, no, I think your girl is wilding. Uh, it's nothing wrong with seeing an ex or a chick that you used to fuck around with. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you see them in the streets and they say hello to you. To be rude just because you're with somebody else is is just dumb. Your your ex shouldn't. Your ex is obviously uh, insecure about something. Now, whether you brought that insecurity along to her or not, that's you know up to y'all. But what I will say is that insecurity shit has no place in a real relationship. No, yeah, the fact that y'all broke up and it was your fiance mm -hmm. because. You spoke to a girl, like she had a man with her and you spoke to them? Yeah. Being respectful? Yeah. That's kind of, yeah, that shouldn't have been your fiance in the first place if she met over something like that. Because what talk. else are y'all going to deal with? Like, especially if y'all maybe live in the same place that you've lived forever, like you're bound to run into somebody. And that she you says she hasn't seen this girl in like four to five years. Or, I mean, I don't know if they live there or whatever, but like, okay, what, yeah, that's what, wild. what do you mean? That's wild. You told her who it was? Yeah, that's too much. Don't listen yeah. to me. I don't give advice. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's not stupid. I don't know. Um, this is random and mm -hmm. we can end, but um, my uncle just sent me this. Wendy Williams is diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia, frontotemporal um, dementia. Oh no. Which is, yeah, that's basically what, um, um, uh, what is his name? Oh my gosh, Bruce Willis has aphasia. Oh man, yeah. So man, that's so sad. That's sad. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all this, man. You can say what you want about Wendy Williams, but she is an icon. Her ways may have not been the best, but she had a whole lot of y'all listening every fucking day. Mm -hmm. um whether it was her radio show which i was a part of like listening to all the time or it was her television show like wendy williams did her job very well and better than most so um you know and if, take away all of that she's still a human so you know have a heart i will say that because i know a lot of people gonna be out there like man fuck her she gave what she deserved this one all just a whole lot of dumb shit that don't have any place for when you hear things like this. I'm going to just explain what it is. It says the National Aphasia Association notes that unlike other forms of aphasia, primary progressive aphasia does not result from a stroke or brain injury and it is, is instead caused by the deterioration of brain tissue important for speech and language. Um, wow. I feel so bad for her. I do too. I do. Um, uh, Cause I, you know, I kind of have, 
things like that going on in my life right now. So mm. it's 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 very scary um, to see someone going through that. So, um, and I think most of y'all know that I I went on the tour that she started. Um, that she the Her comedy last public outing. the last yeah last public outing yeah the comedy tour she started. Um, I was one of the headliners on that. And they had to cancel the tour maybe like t- two dates in. Mm-hmm. So we only got to do one date. Um, and she she was she was a sweetheart, though. She was really nice. Um, she came and spoke to everybody. She was, you know, she and she had it seemed like good people around her. So I don't I don't I mean, they were very protective of her. So. I don't know. Um, I just, I just, a, a lot of, you know, well, prayers to her and her family yeah. and everybody that's fucking deal with this. Yeah. So. Thoughts and prayers for sure. Yeah. Um, remember, March 3rd, we're going to be in Jacksonville, Florida at the Comedy Zone. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you might want to go do that. You can go to andthenwehadsex.com. Also, Philly, we're going to be there next month. So um, those tickets, should, we'll be announcing those tickets very shortly. Mm-hmm. Um, so make sure that you are keeping up with us on all social media sites. Uh, speaking of social media, remember to uh, log on to our new page. And then we pod two. Uh, that's the number two. And then we pod number two. Um, make sure you, you, you check out that page, go follow it, put your, uh, you know, all of that, um, YouTube, make sure that you're subscribing to our video so you can see when we're, when it's coming up. Um, cause YouTube is another place that you can catch all of our videos, um, including the full episode and Patreon. We are keeping up with this. We'll have another Patreon out in the next 48 to 72 hours, probably more like 48 hours. So um, make sure that you subscribe to the Patreon. And um, I'm good. What about you? Um, I think that's it. Um, oh, and once again, we are putting out these special, here you go. Uh, these special shirts and merch and all of that. Um, our first one is going to be the, can you do the sound effect this time without it sounding terrible? <clears throat> Yeah, <laughs> terrible horn. But you'll be able to wear the horn every time and think about how it's supposed to sound. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be having that come out probably next week. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Um, and y'all follow me again because y'all always be following him. Y'all never follow me. Um, <laughs> it's just Chris and Seville's on Instagram. I don't post because y'all don't follow me. And <laughs> <laughs> Facebook is just. I think it's just Chris and. Is it Kristen Seville's Tanner or Kristen yeah, Reese Kristen Seville's Tanner. Um, and then on X, uh, as we know, they apparently for some reason deleted my Twitter account, which mm-hmm. is fucking crazy. Cause I've that's the same account I've had for like over 20 years, which is crazy. Or 20 years or mm-hmm. 10 or however long Twitter been out. I had that account since then and they deleted it. So I'm starting from scratch. And I'm not tweeting until so y'all follow me. And it's, I think it's just Case of Ville's comedy now because I can't use Christmas of Ville anymore. Yeah, so I'm it's sorry, Case baby. of Ville's comedy. But yeah, do all of those things. Word. All right. So, with that being said, and then we had sex, and so should you. Thanks for listening. Yay.